made that noise. Hey everybody, sorry I'm running a little late. I was just trying to cover up my countertops with some plastic here. Yeah, I was trying to uh, get this done before, but I was running late today because of the post office. Oh my gosh, what a nightmare. Christmas shipping? Oh my gosh. Ridiculous. Everybody is shipping stuff today. And plus, I had the Bex problem. I ran out of boxes. At my post office, I had to drive like to the closest town to get post office boxes. Oh, the drama of it all. So. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Taja. Hey, Elk. Hey, Tulip and Rose. Hey, Cadence May. I'm just kind of putting this plastic out so we can hopefully not make a huge mess before we get started. But yeah, it's just a crazy time of year, you know. And people that um, that or the post office picks up their uh, shipping from their house, you guys are really lucky. We have to go to the post office for every little thing. All right, there we go. Now we're all set up. I think. Exactly. Oh, it really is. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see? Exactly. Exactly. Like, why? We don't need this. Like, I feel stressed out from going to the post office. It's ridiculous. At least the guy with the calendar wasn't there. That would have just been, like, that would have been too much for me today. So... <laughs> Um, let me grab, uh, well, I guess we need to pick out our colors first. So there was a request to try painting emotions. So I don't know if anybody has, um, a particular emotion that they want to try to paint today. Um, if it was me, it would be frustration from the dang post office, but, um, I don't know. Yep, see? Exactly, Tulip and Rose. Are you freaking kidding me? Like, ugh. Like, why? Why is the post office like this? I know why. And the people at our post office are really nice. It is not their fault. They're awesome. Like, I love the ladies at the post office. It's just, like, all these Christmas people. All these dang Christmas people. We could do a Grinch. <laughs> love and hope. Reds for anger. Yeah, reds are good. So I don't know. We could try uh, just doing that too. Let me get a little scrunchy my hair. Okay. Oh yeah, and I forgot to put the paint stuff on my paint thing. I use this painter's plastic just to kind of cover everything and put on everything. So that's what this is today. And then I forgot to cover my paint table. So we should pick an emotion piece. Oh, that's a good one. Happy Monday. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I'm just like, this Monday is lame. It is so lame. Exactly. Some copper and blue. That would be great. Okay, let's do peace. Let's do peace first to get us in the right headspace. I feel like colors associated with peace are like blue, right? 
So pretty much blues. Yay. Hey, Isabel. Hey, Munchkin Annie. White. Yes, yeah, silver. Let's get all of our blues out. We got a lot of blues. <laughs> Blue is my favorite color, so we tend to have a lot. Oh, yeah. And don't forget this guy. Neon blue. Oh, yeah, we got the silver. And we can also make some of these pearl colors, too. Put my plastic on my paint table. for the really loud annoying plastic okay all right we got to pick out our blues now so it really just depends on how many we want in the painting and also um we're trying to paint in emotion so you have to think about do these colors make you feel peaceful i think is what we're trying to do here and we've never done this before but we're going to see where we end up so let's just go color by color. We've got neon blue. What do you guys think? Peaceful or not so peaceful? Okay, we wanna do all the blues. Okay. All right, let's do all the blues, that's awesome. That would be awesome actually. That'd be really fun. All right, this one's gonna be easy for all the, for the painting colors we used all blues and then silver right all right sounds good oh do we want cells in any of these are cells considered peaceful okay oh jinx jinx all right we'll do the pearl white so i'll mix that guy up yep see everybody's feeling the same vibes yeah, I got our silver, and then we got our pearl white, which I'm going to mix regular white and use our iridescent medium to make a pearl. Yes, jingle blue cells. All right, so how many cells do we want, guys? I mean, I don't think all of them really is going to... I really don't want to do cells in all of them. That would take freaking forever. Maybe like half of them or, I don't know, the non-blues or, I don't know. I don't know. Are cells peaceful? Okay, so let's just do, okay, so let's do no cells because this is a peaceful painting. I mean, I don't know if cells are peaceful or not, but I don't know what kind of logic that is, but let's try it. That way we can try something different. Oh, and don't forget, guys, I got the mini canvases. I ordered another box from Amazon. It's supposed to be here today, but um, I'm making the magnets, and then I'm also going to be just making some of these guys, and we may do... We may do a couple mini minis. I don't have a lot of these left, but we may do like the little mini paintings. I don't know. These are just really fun. I think it's because they're so tiny and cute. Like they're little baby canvases. These are adorable. They're two by twos. So I've got these out. So we'll do something with those too. But um, let's get some Christmas music on and like have some festivities. That would be great. And then we will try all the blues. 
which I'm pretty excited for because we're using all of them. Okay, now we get our Christmas music. Cells can be disruptive. Yes, okay, I think we're all on the same page with that. Okay, so let's see, how many colors are we using? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we're gonna use 17 colors on this. This is gonna be uh, a record, I think. We've used a lot of colors before, but I don't know if we've ever used this many. So this will be really fun. 17. Oh man, it's snowing. That's crazy. It's not, it's actually not been snowing here, which is kind of weird. But I think there's supposed to be some type of blizzard or some, I don't know. I usually don't really follow the weather, which is terrible. I usually just ask my husband, what's the weather going to be today? And I make him look it up. <laughs> totally lazy move there. Um, okay, so... These uh, bigger cans of paint are actually not pour paint. These are just liquid acrylic. So they're a little thick. So that's why they are going in their own cup. I'm mixing them with some Floetrol, which will give us some nice natural cells just to thin the paintings uh, or just to thin these uh, paints out. Because this is a thicker paint since they're just liquid acrylics. They're thinner than a regular acrylic paint but they are thicker than pour paints. So that's why we kind of do this. Hey, Jules. Oh man. Yeah, well, I think we got all the blues, so I don't know how it's gonna end up. Like we pulled out every last one that we had. So I don't know. It's just gonna be a toss up really. And then here's our other liquid acrylic, ultramarine. This one's really pretty. Um, I live in northern Colorado, like almost Wyoming. So it does get pretty cold here, but not as bad as some states, you know. And the thing about Colorado, um, we're close to the sun, and so it just seems like our snow melts really nicely. It doesn't tend to, like, stay around too bad. I mean, it does and it doesn't, you know, because it snowed probably about a week ago and it's all pretty much almost melted by now, except some of the places in the shadows. And if you guys live in snow, I don't know if that's a pet peeve for someone else, but I hate how like half of my yard is covered in snow and the other half of the snow is like melted it. It's so annoying. Like either be all snowy or all melted it's weird oh ohio i bet it i bet it gets cold there i bet it gets cold there Ooh. cold 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 i can't wait though until the winter is over and we start getting um put a little more pearl on this guy and we start getting longer days again i like it when the daytime is longer the sun is out longer. Oh, Taj said something about the blues. The blues. We got so many colors, though. We have like 17 of these guys. This is a little ridiculous, but that's what makes it fun. Okay. And then... So let's just start pouring our colors together. So here is our light blue. This is like a Tiffany blue. We've got a lot of colors to fit in here. And we got our neon blue. So this is gonna be our piece painting. 
And to us, it's peaceful to have every blue color. Okay, yeah, these are two different ones. We basically have to get every color of blue that we have in on this painting. Here's our pearl sky blue. Ooh, that's pretty. This is a peaceful color. We've got our pearl blue. That's pretty too. I love that. I need to get some more of these pearl colors. They just turned out gorgeous. They're so pretty. They're almost like duochrome, you know? And there's our sky blue. Cerulean blue. Oh yeah, pearl and metallic, so pretty. I want every pearl and metallic color that they have. That would make me really happy to have all the colors. There's our silver. I like this color too. This is called pool party. Oh my gosh, look at the cup so far. Isn't that pretty? Hey, Bex, how's it going? It's going good over here. It just took me a minute to get started because I had to put all my plastic out and get all my stuff set up. I've been running around all day. I was, I was saying earlier I had a Bex problem today because I couldn't find any boxes. Because so I was trying to mail out um, a bunch of paintings. And there's certain size boxes that I need. And my little post office didn't have them, so I had to go into town. I was like, see? It's those, yep, it's those boxes. I'll tell you what. But yeah, we're painting emotions right now, so we are painting a uh, piece. And we're using 17 colors, which is pretty great. Look at that. Deep turquoise. Deep turquoise. You can order them, um, the priority mailboxes, but only if you live where the post office comes to your house. The post office doesn't come to my house, which is really annoying because they're literally, like, they're literally two blocks away from me. I am, I live so close to the post office. Here's our aqua green, but they don't deliver mail here. And they don't, um, ooh, look at that. Ooh. Love that aqua. They don't uh, deliver mail to my house, even though they're, like I said, they're literally right down the street. And so I can't schedule pickups. You know how like you can schedule um, USPS to come pick up all your packages for Posh? I can't do that because they don't deliver here. They don't come here. And so they won't bring the free boxes here. Like you can only do that if the post office comes to your house. It's so annoying. I'm so jealous of anybody that the post office comes to your house. You have no idea because I have to load up um, the boxes in my car and then take them to the post office. And I don't mind doing it, but it would be so much easier just to have somebody like come pick it up and keep me stocked with the boxes I need. Anyway, I'm just like complaining right now because there's a lot of drama like getting boxes today. Like I understand how Bex felt the other day now. Look at that. Cobalt metallic blue. Oh, that's just so pretty. Got to be one of the favorites here. Hey, Wendy. How's it going? We're just painting um, feelings today. Okay, it looks like there's a shadow on this side, but it's not a shadow. The plastic is just single, and it's double layered here. So I'm like, no, not my lighting. This, lighting is important when you're doing paintings, but look at this. It's a blue rainbow or something. Look at that. That's cool. I wish you guys could. Oh my gosh. You guys have to see this. The side of the cup. It's its own painting. And white was the, I just used the cup where I mixed the white together. 
to add the rest of the paint. So it looks like there's a lot more white than there really is. So just be aware of that. Yes, we are doing a piece painting. We're trying to paint feelings and moods. And so we chose to do peace so that we could take a moment to unwind after Monday, no fun day. Um, where did I put it? There you are. All right, so for our drip pan painting, we're going to use one of my, uh, we're going to recycle one of my canvases here. I did a pendulum painting on this guy, but it's kind of weird. So we're going to use this as a drip pan painting today. And let me grab a canvas for us. And there's our tray. Oh, it is a Monday, no fun day. Oh, we can't forget our baby canvases. We need those. It's a lot going on. Let's do, let's do a nice 12 by 12. The whole crew's here. It's a Monday. Everybody's like, ugh. Oh my gosh, that reminds me of that movie. Office, uh, is it Office Space? Oh, somebody's got a case of the Mondays. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, it's funny. I love that movie. Surely some of you guys have seen Office Space. See, I knew it. Isabel's seen it. Somebody's got a case of the Mondays. <laughs> it's like, please stop. <laughs> That's how I feel today. I'm just like, no. I actually do kind of have a case of the Mondays, though. And it's mostly because of those dang uh, uh, boxes I couldn't get at the post office. Really tested my patience today. Had to drive around, go on a, go on a safari just to get a box, just to get a box. All right, let's see. This is 12 by 12. Oh my God, I'm so glad you love it. I'm glad you got it in the mail. Very nice. All right. This is supposed to be peace, and then we're going to do some mini paintings. Okay, so the mini paintings... One is going to come with the painting, and then one is for me, and then one is for the magnets. Just in case anybody's wondering why we have all these little baby paintings. For... Ooh. Look at her. Look at these natural cells. This is very peaceful. Look at our cobalt metallic blue along the edges. Yeah, I think this is peaceful. All right, I'm going to scoot us up a little bit here. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I But of course I like it because it's got all these blues in it. Really, you can see that cobalt metallic blue. We're definitely going to have to do a close-up on this guy. Make sure we can see these amazing colors in it. This is so beautiful. And you can see the silver and the pearl white in it a little bit as well. This is just beautiful. And we used a lot of metallics and pearls in it. So this is going to just look 
It's going to be a really pretty finish on it. And then you can see the corner developing here. That's really nice. Oh, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. This one might need some accessories. I don't know. Or maybe not because it's peaceful. I don't know, but I definitely feel like we nailed that. We did that. All right, now we got to do our little uh, mini paintings. Our little tiny little paintings. Ooh, that's a good name, Oceana. Oceana. I'm from Texas. Maui Ocean. Oh, that's pretty. Ocean meets sky. Oh my god. That's totally what it looks like, though. Ocean waves moving. Definitely. You could definitely be in the little ocean. Ocean Peace. Oh, that's a really great name. Caribbean. Okay, and I'm just going to say Peace. Just because, I don't know. I'm just going to put that on there. Even though it's totally obvious. Peaceful Waters. Because I think we accomplished that goal. Galaxy Peace. Tranquility. Yeah, I wasn't really sure where this was going to go. But um, I'm really loving it. Let me switch these guys around and then we'll do a close-up on it. If anybody has names, that's cool, too. Little mini paintings. These are so cute. These are so fun. Get on there. Constellation piece. That's a good one. Let me write that down. Can get this stuff off of me. This is so messy. The little ones are a lot messier though. Oh my gosh. I got to show you guys a close up on the big one, but I just got to get these little guys here. Look at these little guys. It's a tiny little poor painting. That's adorable. Okay. So there's one. It does look like constellation now that I'm looking at it, especially because it looks like, I don't know, there's some real tiny um, natural cells on here. It does look like constellation. And then we got to find the one that looks most like that one to be the mini me of it. Okay. And then here's our last one. And there's this little guy. See exactly. That's what I'm seeing too. We'll do a close-up, and so that way people that can't maybe necessarily see them. We'll do a nice little close-up there. This guy's adorable. Lisa Ross. <laughs> My gosh, this is so cute. We're a little cutie. 
All right. Just got to get that last corner. And I feel like this one actually probably is going to be the closest, um, the closest to the one down there. You think? I think so too. That's what I'm thinking too, Taj. All right. So I'm going to go put these, uh, to go dry. And these are just like for magnet purposes and for my own personal use. These are super cute. Look at that. Oh my God. They're so adorable. I'm going to have to do a Christmas tree with these as ornaments. Something. That's like the most adorable thing I've ever seen are these little canvases. Okay. So let's take a look at it. <laughs> fridge art the kind you really want exactly <laughs> they're just so cute so it does look really constellation-y you can see that and then there's that top corner where like the white is coming through the pearl white and you can see the cells in the sky you can see definitely all the colors of blue I don't know if every single one. And then look at the side. The side of that looks really cool. Because it's got that nice foil effect to it. And then you can see the middle part here. It kind of looks, I don't know, like not, maybe not marble, but I don't know, like ice does, like when ice forms. I don't know, but this one's really pretty. This was a good choice for sure. Definitely very peaceful. Okay. So we'll auction this guy off first. Um, and then it also comes with the little mini me painting. Which is just adorable. Okay. Oh, wait. Let me write down the constellation one. Oh, I missed some names. Twilight. Finding peace in the storm. What was the other one Taj said? Constellation Peace. Okay. gotta get all of our names down you know this is like our best ideas Bex <laughs> oh my god okay that's really pretty all right so this guy is going to be a 12 by 12 and um it also comes with the little mini mini guy there we go and then let me scoot this up a little bit so you guys can actually see this guy. But yeah, this one is really pretty. Definitely very tranquil. I think we captured the piece, um, the whole piece vibe very well. We did a good job on this one. I think the emotions uh, paintings are kind of cool for sure. But um, And for anybody that's new, it does take uh, 24 to 48 hours for it to dry. And then I do spray it with a nice clear coat, which will make it nice and glossy and also protect your painting. So um, it will take probably about two to three days to ship out. It could be a, a day longer depending on how it dries. I've noticed the drip pan paintings seem to take a little longer to dry. So, um, and congratulations, Isabel. Yay. You are the winner. So do you want to name it or do you want to leave it blank since it's a gift? 
because we do have some suggestions for names for you. And then if there's anything you want to do to embellish this painting, you know, we've got our glitter options. We've got our glass options. We've got our decorative foil options. And in case any I, anybody didn't see our new foil, you know, we had the silver foil flakes. And now we have copper and gold foil flakes. And honestly, they look pretty good in the paintings. Okay, awesome. Let me see what we've got for this. Oceana. I'm going to tell you the names and you tell me which one you like because we do have a lot of good ones. Constellation Peace, Oceana, Maui Ocean, Ocean Meet Sky, Ocean Waves Moving, Ocean Peace, Caribbean, <coughs> Peace, Peaceful Waters, Galaxy Peace, Tranquility, Twilight, and finding peace in the storm. But we can name it for you if you want it. <coughs> I definitely get ocean vibes from it too. I get night sky vibes from it for sure. And I have definitely have our silver foil. Tranquility. Ooh, very, very nice. I like it. Glass and foil. Definitely. Um, what color glass do you want? We've got light blue, light pink. Um, we've got our antique gold and our silver slash clear. And then we have our beautiful foil flakes. Yeah, silver, light blue, or you can uh, mix them both together. When in doubt, put them both in there. That's what I do. And where do you guys think we should place it? We'll take suggestions from the chat. All right, let me mix up some... We're going to mix up some glitter. We're going to do a glitter combination here. Here's our blue. Okay. Like right through here. All right, do you want it just in this area or do you want it kind of like all the way down to the right? Because um, it definitely seems like it goes darker like from here all the way through there. What do you guys think about that? Okay, I think so too. I think it'd be nice. Yeah, there's like a nice curve here. So we'll just kind of stay along this area. I think that would be great too. So I'm just going to do the foil pieces first. This looks beautiful. This was a great, great choice. Exactly. That's what everybody was thinking. Everybody's like, yep, that's exactly where that should go. So what about the silver flakes? What do you guys think? You think that's a good amount or it needs more? Isn't that pretty? I just love the uh, foil flakes. They're so great. And we're also going to add glass, too. All right, let's add the glass, and then if we need to go back and add any more flakes, we can. Oh. 
I love this combination. So we've got blue and um, silver slash clear glass mixed together, which is very, very nice. And I think also really complements the, um, the silver foil pieces as well. Yeah, isn't this beautiful? This has got some really, really nice shine to it. You guys pick the colors. This is not... You guys mostly did this. Let's take a close-up look on this guy, and you can tell me if it needs any more foil or any more glass. We're going to do an extreme close-up, and then we're going to kind of look at it a little further away. And then it'll give us a good idea of what we've done exactly. The glass pieces look amazing in it. And it kind of goes up just a touch where that color is. Exactly. I'll get us still peaceful. We're still getting that peaceful feeling. So there we are, kind of stepping back a little bit from it. And that's what we ended up with. So, think it needs anything else or... How are we feeling about that? What do you guys think? Do you want to add a little bit of glass um, at the top uh, right? Okay. I think it's a good idea. I've got, and I've got just a little bit left, so I think this will be perfect. All right, that's beautiful. I like it because it makes the painting pop, you know, it really gives it dimension and I don't know, it just makes it, makes it different. It's different than a regular painting. It's a decorated painting. So I hope that you really, really love this painting and you feel peaceful when you look at it. You feel like tranquilities. I think it's perfect. All right, so I'm going to set this guy to dry, and then we need to figure out what emotion we want to paint next. This one was peace. And then take a look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We could do rage. We can do whatever we want to do. might be fun, you know, like anger might be fun or joy, ha happiness. I think they would all be fun to do because then we have to pick out the colors for each one. Oh my gosh, that one's so cute. You get, and you get a little mini me painting too. It's, oh my gosh, these are so adorable. Amazon better hurry up. I've got three canvases left. So. They better hurry up. Let me look and make sure they didn't drop it off already. We need these little canvases. Gosh. Okay. Let's see. This is like the one time that they dropped the paint off after the show and we didn't need it. I mean, we needed it earlier. This is going to be the same thing. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. We need to do the mini canvas. Let's do the mini canvas, too. All right. And I know we want foil and glass on it. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, that's awesome. That's perfect. All right, we're going to do a little mini one just like the other one. Oh, wait. So it's kind of got like a corner of lighter one like the other one, and then it's also got kind of a darker blue. So I'm basically just going to imitate exactly what we did there. So that they're matching. <laughs> why are these so fun? I don't know why these are so fun, but they are. All right, that's really. That's adorable. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> Isn't it cute, Bex? Oh my god, they're so adorable. I want like an entire uh, room wall of uh, mini canvases. It would take forever. That would be so cool though. Oh my gosh. Hurry up, Amazon. We've only got three left. Okay, so let's do our next one. So what do we decide on? Do we want to do joy? Do we want to do, I don't know. Um, you want me to auction off one of the other little guys? Um, I can do that. We'll do joy next. That's a good idea. One of them is a magnet, so I have this one that I could auction off. If you guys like that one, it's really really cute. Let me put it on my. Uh, let me add it real quick. Oh my gosh, Taj, I love the freaking, I love that idea, the envy idea. So for the next one, let's do joy um, for painting number two. For number three, let's do envy. Number four, let's do anger. And then we'll see what happens after that. We'll see. That's a, oh my God, that's a great idea though. I love the envy, like greens doing that. That would be so cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this guy off. This is our little baby painting. And the winner can decorate it or add any glass or anything they want to this guy. And this is what this guy looks like. He's a little cutie. So, I don't know. You could add some glass to this. You could do whatever. This is just a quick add that we did. Two by two, um, and it's got blues. It's got lots of blues. This is pretty much all blue. So congratulations, Cheryl. How would you like to decorate this little guy? Let me scoot us up so we can see it. That would be really helpful. Get us in focus here. It's a little cutie. Okay, a light sprinkle of silver glitter. Gotcha. 
And um, are we adding anything else to that or just the silver? You want it kind of dusted on the whole thing? Where's our silver? Silver. There you are. There's our silver. It is a little cutie. All right, I got some silver um, powdered glitter. So this is really fine glitter. Okay, so you want to do a light sprinkle of the silver glitter and then maybe a little bit of the silver foil. Definitely. That's pretty. Good idea. That's got a nice subtle twist to it. And then where do you want to put the foil? Let me turn it this way so you can see it. Isn't that cool? What a neat little pattern. And you can see the glitter. It's just kind of subtle. There, now you can really see it. Okay, the dark band in the middle. Definitely. I just love these foil flakes. They look so cool in the painting. The little ones that we did um, day before yesterday. Oh my gosh. Adorable. Because we put some uh, foil on that. I think we did like gold and copper on that. And it'll kind of melt into that too as it dries. So... It's cute. <laughs> I'm so glad you like it. He's a real cute little guy. And you got some nice glitter and some nice shine on it now. That's a little cutie. Okay. And then I'm going to add some glass to this other one because it's going to be a magnet. All right, perfect. You know we got to accessorize these guys. All right, let's pick our next colors here. We got our drip pan situation. Lots of blues so far. Alright, so our next one is going to be Joy. So what are you guys thinking for colors on Joy? Got my post-it here. Oh, awesome! Holiday earrings! That's fun. Holiday earrings! Okay, so yellows and golds. Okay, let's start there, and then we can always work our way from there. All right, so golds and yellows and stuff. There's gold. I'm going to get all of our yellows out. And then we can go from there. So if we want to add any other colors after we have these. So the first one is going to be our old gold. We've got deep yellow. We've got bright yellow. And we've got our chartreuse, our pea soup. So we've got four yellows. I mean, we could do all the yellows or I don't know how we want to do this one. Okay, let's do some pinks and let's do, or let's do a pink and
I do have that peach color. You might be right, Nova. I have light pink. This looks kind of like a peach. And then we're going to do... I don't know. I think we should have the gold in it. We don't have to put a lot in there. And then, I don't know. These yellows, maybe both of them? I don't know. Okay, so let's look at another. Let's look at the other pinks and see if we want to do a pink with this guy. So these are the colors we think we're liking for sure. And um, these are the colors that we can add. So we've got this neon pink. We have the like the baby pink. Um, I've got the Barbie pink. I've got the burgundy type color. We have rose gold which is a pink. So I don't know, we do have that. Hmm. Yeah, let's, I think we should put a rose gold in there. I think that would look nice with all of that. Do we want to add another pink color? Okay, I'm hearing some burgundies. All right, what else? Do we feel good about this or do we need more? We've got gold, we've got burgundy, we've got peach, like light pink. We've got deep yellow, we've got bright yellow, we've got rose gold. Oh, this is the, this is, this is our purple neon, but it does come off kind of pink, honestly. That's why I always show this one to you guys when we're looking at it or when we're like doing stuff. Okay, we'll do that one. And then, okay, so we're, uh, people are saying maybe not both yellows. What do you guys think? There's a bright yellow and then there's a deep yellow, which is the darker one. Okay. All right. Gotcha. All right. So let's see what our situation is now. Our situation is this. We've got deep yellow. We've got peach. We've got rose gold. We've got purple neon. We've got uh, the burgundy and we've got gold. So... So remember that we're trying to do the theme of joy. So is there anything else that you feel like would make this painting look a little more joyful, perhaps? Jinx. Y'all are jinx over there. All right, we'll do pearl white. I think I'm going to have a glass of wine. I'm not going to be like the drunk purse lady, but I will I feel like I need to unwind a minute. No one wants to add pea soup. Elk says black. What do you guys think? No, elk is black joyful. I don't know if black is a joyful color in this painting. I don't know. It's a beautiful color. I don't know. I don't know. It might be good for contrast, though. I like. Don't ask me. I don't know anything about about this situation. Thanks, Ursi. Cheers. Cheers back. We have some Andre's pink champagne or brute rosé. Sorry, it's brute rosé. It's like the cheapest champagne you can buy, but. It's my favorite for some reason. I like Andre's. 
Andre's used to be like five dollars a bottle. Now it's like um, freaking eight, nine, ten dollars a bottle. See, this is not a fancy brand, guys. <laughs> but we may as well relax. We got a couple paintings to do tonight. All right, so we've got a suggestion of turquoise. We need to figure out. Are we good with this or does it need something? Because there's definitely a couple more suggestions. Nova saying pea soup. Japselica is saying turquoise. Elk is saying black. Sometimes seeing the colors helps people visualize them. Taj loves it too. Taj and Nova both. It's a it's a cool color, honestly. It really is. Okay, we're seeing turquoise. I'm seeing a lot of turquoise. Okay, so we'll do cells and turquoise, and we'll do a touch of pea soup. Okay, we're gonna try all of the colors. And we'll, like, you never know. You know, like, I know sometimes it's like, oh, why does she pick those colors? And then when you see them, it's like, all right, that might be really the freaking coolest thing I've ever seen. Well, good, because we are definitely going to add some turquoise. So I'm glad the color wheel approves. Because we love it. And this is a pretty one. I'm a fan of it. Me too, Ursi. But we love the color blue, so. All right, and we're going to use our cell medium, and we're going to put cells in the color turquoise. And if you guys want cells in any of these other colors, let me know. So we've got our turquoise with cells, and then I'm going to mix our pearl white real quick, and then if we ever want any, um, yes, we usually kind of go back and forth between, between a rectangle and a square. The next one that I'm going to do is going to be 11 by 14. I generally try to kind of alternate them, or sometimes we'll do like some fun picture frames. Like some different kinds. So. And if anybody, um, I do take custom orders. And so um, people definitely have different requests on canvas size and canvas shape too. So if there's something specific you're wanting, you can let me know. But generally in a show, I try to kind of alternate them. All right. And then did we want to add any cells to anything else? So. There's no cells in this white one. I just had to make this a pearl white. Um, but there are cells in the turquoise. And I don't know if anybody wants cells in any of the rest of these guys. We've got gold, burgundy, purple neon, chartreuse, rose gold, light pink, and deep yellow. I feel like we need a cell in another color. I think we need at least like... I don't know. We should probably do another one, too. Oh, my gosh. Christmas. Oh, my gosh. It is so crazy. I tell you what. Ugh. I'm telling you. I'll be glad when it's over, too. I like Christmas and, and everything. It just, it does make uh, things a little different. Some days it's fun. Some days it's kind of like, okay, enough already. Okay, and I'm mixing our gold um, with our silicone drops, which is our other cell thing. Okay. Um, yep, Taj says gold. Awesome. Well, and you can always send me a message if you have any questions about colors or what do you think this would look like or um, canvas this size or... Um, anything like that. I'm always happy to answer any questions. All 
All right, let's do the purple and the pea suit. And then we'll have kind of like a half cell situation, which I like. Here's our chartreuse. And I always make sure we have plenty of this because no and Taj, uh, Nova and Taj really like this one. And then here's our purple neon. But like I said, this really has more of a pinky vibe to me. If you look at it, it kind of looks uh, pink to me. Just my personal opinion. All right. And then I'm adding, with this one, I am adding silicone drops to one. And we're going to add our cell medium to the other. So that way we have um, kind of both of these guys, kind of half and half. Because we also did the cell medium on the turquoise, and we did the silicone drops on the gold. So these guys are all going to be cells. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to start mixing all these colors together. Pretty randomly. Yeah, there's some the beach and ocean uh, canvas paintings are really really pretty. The blue and the coppers. That's definitely one of my favorites color schemes. I think it always just turns out really pretty. And then we did like an ocean where we like added some brown. We added our burnt umber to it. And we did like an ocean theme, and that one turned out pretty cool too. We've done a lot of different variations on it. I think each time we've come up with something kind of cool. So there's our turquoise. Yeah, this is going to be really fun. I'm really excited about this one because I have no idea what's going on here. Got to see what the final effect is going to be because there's no way to predict this one. Look at the cup, though. Isn't that cool already? I think this is joyful. You can't go wrong with the blues. That's what I always say. Every time. It's very true, though. The blues and the coppers, it's always going to be a beautiful painting. There's some color combinations, though. They're just, like, always winners. Like, every single time they win. Not all color combinations are like that. There's a rose gold. But man, there's some that just, they just nail it every single time. Tried and true. All right, here's our burgundy. I'm actually really excited about this. This one is going to be wild. This one is going to be wild, man. All right, we got to write down our colors real quick. We might be needing to recreate this. All right, so chartreuse, um, deep yellow, burgundy, um, uh, neon purple, turquoise. Am I missing anything? Oh, yeah, light pink gold. All right. Am I missing anything from our list? We have chartreuse, deep yellow, burgundy, neon purple, turquoise, light pink, and gold. Rose gold. Thank you very much. Very nice. Pea soup. Got the chartreuse. So let's see. Pea soup, deep yellow, Burgundy, neon, purple, turquoise, light pink, gold, and rose gold. And look at the cup. It looks so cool. You can see the uh, side of the cup. There's the light pink. So let's see what happens with this guy. We I see, I thought we used pearl white too. We did, didn't we?
Okay. Thank you. Just want to make sure because um, sometimes we like to recreate our colors. All right. So let's pour this guy. Come on, Amazon. Hurry up. Bring my little baby frames. I need some more little baby frames. All right. So this guy's going to be 11 by 14. Get out of there. All right. So let's take a close look at this guy. Let's go ahead and pour it over. Get some mini canvases out. And these are the last ones that I have. So this will be the last painting that gets a little twin until I get my other mini canvases. Okay. Um, yes, I sign them and I date them. And then I also, um, I also name them, which is really fun. The chat helps name them. Oh my gosh, look at this cup. That's wild. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I'm just trying to get these little mini guys because these seem to dry pretty fast. And then we'll switch that one around. Isn't that beautiful? And look at these cells developing in this guy. Wow. Oh my gosh, even the little mini paintings are adorable. Oh my gosh. Why are they so cute? We already know the answer to that. It's because they're minis. Okay, that's cute. Look at these little guys. I think the gold was really, really a great touch in this for sure. Really all the colors were. All right, let's take a look at this little mini guy. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's so cute. It's like so perfect. Oh my gosh, I'm so impressed with this color combo. All right, let's do a close up on the big painting and then start swirling. See what we end up with on this guy because this looks really freaking interesting to me. Yeah, they are. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh, they're so, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. What a great freaking combination, guys. Another winner. That's pretty much all we do in here is win. Every idea that we have is pretty much excellent. This is definitely joyful. I felt very joyful when I saw this painting. I was like, wow, this is awesome. Yep, all we do is win, 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 no matter what. All we do is have great ideas. Pretty much the only ideas that we have in here. 
This is amazing. Okay, I love it. This is freaking amazing. This one is definitely getting some uh, stars. Like multiple stars. All right, we love this. Ooh, that's a good one. Cosmic Joy? Yes. Joyful, that's a good one. This is amazing. This color scheme is so great. And I love what's going on in this corner right here. That is amazing. That was a really, really good color combination you guys came up with. Look at that. It looks like, I don't know, it looks kind of like, I don't know, it looks a little bit like tie-dye, but it just looks like, I don't know, these colors are amazing. I'm going to write this down for the names joyful cosmic joy comfort and joy that's a good one sunburst oh that's a really good one okay let's take a closer look at this guy Buddy, calm down. Buddy, right, go lay down, sweetie. And then it's got some really cool action going on here. And then you've got some white here. Oh, nice. My mini canvases are here. Okay. Okay. I'll take I'll take care of that after I'm done. Yeah. And then we've got this guy right here, and then you can also see the side of it, and it looks kind of like these are um like a glare or something, but these is this is actually the pearl white coming through. So that's really really pretty, and then you've got your cell action right there. This kind of looks like an alien face or something, or like a palm granite. But I really like the uh, bottom corner of this, too. And then there is the top left corner. All right, so let's go ahead and let me make sure I have all the names for this guy, though. We need to make sure we get all the names on it. Stellar Pool, that's a good one. Yeah, I like Cosmic Joy, that's pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry we woke up your cat. No. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, nobody can see that. Let me move this guy up. And oh my gosh, look at all the minis. Look at these guys. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Look at that. That's amazing. So there's that many. Take a look at our next mini. And this mini, these have like a lot of little cells in them. Aren't these cool? Oh, these are so neat. 
I love these little guys. And thank goodness our canvases got here in enough time so where we can actually do some more of them. So let's see. To me, that one in the middle probably looks the most like it. So I'm going to remove these guys and take this out of the way and we'll auction that guy off with its little mini as well. All right. So let me show you guys the mini that's going to go with this one. To me, this looks like it was the closest to the bigger painting. And you can see it's got all the cute little cells on it. All right. Perfect. These little guys are adorable. All right, now let's uh, go ahead and do this guy off. Isn't that cute? This color combination is amazing. I am loving it. But let me scoot it up so you guys can see it. I'm gonna make sure it's like actually in the window. Okay. So this is going to be painting number two and it's 11 by 14. And then we also have the little guy that comes with it as well. And this one is going to be the joy theme, which I think we pretty much nailed that. We used chartreuse, deep yellow. We used burgundy. We used neon purple. We used turquoise, light pink, gold, rose gold, and pearl white. So this is definitely a really pretty joyful vibe. And we did amazing on this. I am definitely giving this one a star. I think we're going to have to make this one again, for sure, on another show. I would love to do a repeat of this color combination. So if anybody wants to do uh, this on another show later this week, let me know. Because this might be a fun one to try again. But definitely getting a joyful vibe from this painting, for sure think we did that. Congratulations to Lucidin. So you are the winner. You are the father. Oh my gosh, I've been watching Mori reruns on my Pluto TV lately. It's so sad. <laughs> I love Mori. I, I just need something brainless at the end of my day. I can't help it. So you gotta name the painting. That one's awesome. Isn't it cool? I like that one a lot. Yeah, this one we're doing emotion painting today. Somebody suggested that we try to like do emotions. Yeah, no, so, I saw uh, the blue one. Yeah, peace. peace. That was peace. This one is Thank like a joy yeah. theme. Nice. Yeah. I get joy from that. Yeah, me too. I love these colors. So now we gotta pick out the name. So I'm going to read you the names, Lucid, and you can name it whatever you want, but everyone in chat always likes to give some good suggestions. And we have Joyful, Cosmic Joy, Comfort and Joy, Sunburst, and Stellar Pool. So you have some very good choices here, or you can name it whatever you like, because it's your painting. Elk says hi. Hi, Elk. <laughs> Cosmic Joy. Very nice. I love it. I think it's perfect too. So I'm going to highlight that. Joy. Cosmic Joy. And then do you want any um, embellishments on your painting? We have some good choices. We can add glass to your painting. We have pink glass. We have blue glass. We have like, um, what is this? Like clear slash uh, silver glass. We have our antique gold glass. We have all the powdered glitter covers that you could ever imagine. Okay, all the beautiful powdered glitters. Um, 
Like I've got the finely powdered glitter in like every single color that you can think of. And then I also have chunkier glitter and I have fun glitter too. Since it's cosmic, maybe you want to add some stars to it. Maybe not, but we have a lot of good options for you. And these are just little silver stars. They're really, really shiny. And then I also have this glitter, it's called Cosmic, and it's got little stars in it. And then I also have these gold, what is this? Gold stars and silver moons. So I'm gonna do a couple stars. Where do you want your stars? Do you want them like in a certain color section? We can put them in a corner. Um, I don't know, I think they might be kind of cool in this middle area. What do you guys think? All right, well then let's put them right here in the middle area. I think this would be really cool. Kind of like in this pink area that goes up this way. I think the stars are a great, great touch. Awesome. That is beautiful. I hope you love it. And then let me put some on your little guy too. And I just put some on the side of this little guy. I really feel like the stars are a nice touch. Really, really cute. And then let's do a close up on it. You can see we just did a couple little stars, mostly just in this pink area in the middle here. And the rest of it is just kind of, I don't know, this really cool space stuff going on. And then, yeah, the stars are just right there in the middle. I love it. That one was awesome. We did really great on that one. Three cheers for us. We deserve an award for that color scheme. So we got our little guy drying over there, and then I'm going to take this guy over to dry as well. Thank goodness our little canvases arrived in the nick of time. But yeah, this is really, really neat. And you can see the turquoise kind of coming through the top, too. It's got some just glorious, glorious cells. Gloria. Beautiful cells. I wouldn't necessarily call them jingle cells. I think they're joyful cells. Joyful cells. Yep. It was martini or marini. That was gorgeous. We're definitely doing the color scheme again. All right, so that was, let's see, that was Joy. Yeah, we do. And then that way you can decide if you want to decorate your painting because everyone's tastes are just a little bit different. And so some people want to um, add glitter. Some people want to add glass. Some people like it as is. So. Sorry, guys. I got to grab some ice. I'm messing with the dang ice machine. So we got our new box of mini canvas here. So we can continue to do twinsies. And we're not always going to do these little canvases, but right now these are fun, so. That's mostly why we're doing them, just because I'm getting a like big kick out of these guys. So, all right. So the next one is going to be Envy. I love this idea. Dun, dun, dun. I love this idea. So right now, these are the greens that I have. Um, let's like, see. Like the Envy you have for me? What? Like the Envy you have for me? Oh, yes. <laughs> No, this is Taj's idea. And I was like, oh man, that would be awesome. You can use all the colors. <laughs> like, that'd be cool. 
So black. Black. Okay. And I'm also thinking that we're actually gonna want to make an emerald out of this. So I'm gonna make a wanna make a dark one, right? Yes, gold, copper. Definitely elk. No, it makes a lot of sense in this one. It does. There's symbolism in this guy. All right. Okay, and also I really kind of want to use our, we have not used our gold metallic medium yet. So I kind of want to mix it with one of these greens and turn it into a metallic -y show. Oh, thanks, Isabel. I'm glad you like it. And we got to make our dark green real quick because I know we're going to need that color. I already have that feeling. You got Isabel hooked from Saturday. Yep. <laughs> it's pretty fun, you know. We like we think of some really good ideas on here. I'm not going to lie. Kind of like the last thing we did. That was pretty amazing. Pat yourself on the back a little bit more, why don't you? It wasn't me. I'm not the one that came up with it. It was uh, the everybody. It was a collaborative effort. Yep. The people in here are pretty cool, too. All right. So I'm making my emerald green. We like to think we were the first. So don't, don't tell us about somebody else doing it before her. <laughs> okay, that's definitely a darker green. Let's uh lighten it up with some cells. It's always an option. Exactly. Too dark, just add the white. Or cells. Cells, it does make it a little lighter. That's still not right. Okay, that's better. Yes, the minis we are selling the or the minis come with it, um, the paintings tonight. So everybody gets a mini with their painting tonight. But I make three because one is for the person that wins, one is for my personal crafting use, and the other is um, an order. I'm making magnets for someone of mini paintings. So we're like doing all the mini paintings. So, all right, so we've got our darker green. We want to definitely add gold to one of these colors. We want the copper and the gold. And I think we want the other copper too, right? We need all three of those. And I don't know. I really want to add this metallic to something. Should we add it to the pea soup? See what happens? I don't know. Is that too much? <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like it might not be. <laughs> do it. Do okay, it. Let's do, do it. it. <laughs> all right. Let's do it. Thank you. That's all I needed. I just needed... Yeah. Some encouragement. And what do you guys think about the greens? Do we need all the greens here? Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> of course we do. I expect nothing less from this crowd. Yeah. She probably would have done it if you guys would have said maybe. You didn't have to say yes or do it. When in doubt, use all the colors. Every freaking single color that you possibly can okay this looks cool this is like a metallic pea soup <laughs> exactly oh yeah see all the greens go in envy baby add some more gold to this i want this to be gold pea soup that is kind of a cool color <laughs> yeah it is it looks really cool Exactly, metallic pea soup. Man, that is really working for me here. All right. So let's start adding our colors. We've got cells in that one. We should probably add some cells in one of the other ones. 
Um, let's do it in this one. Just random. This is some random, this is some random things going on here. So I'm adding silicone drops to this one. So we've now got cells. Oh, we've only got cells in this color. Yeah, the medium and the emerald. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. We added that to the medium, to that one. You could probably use it in one of the coppers or the golds. She never gets tired of explaining cells, don't worry. No, cells are awesome. Cells are cool. <laughs> Basically, it uh, the silicone drops, I used some silicone drops, and um, I also used something by uh, DecoArt called Cell Medium. So um, these two things create cells. And we can show you a perfect example of what they look like after this paint, after we pour this paint out, you'll definitely be able to see it. Looks like it looks looks like a wonky eyeball or something. Monster All right. Eyeball, yeah. Let's see what else. You want the cells and the copper, of course. Yes, that's what I was thinking too. Because great minds, they do think alike. Sometimes, Special minds do. Yes. Sometimes the bottles get stuck together, or the paint gets <laughs> gets the lid stuck on it. All right, and we're gonna add our cell medium to this guy. Kermit's eyeball. Kermit's eyeball. Oh my god, that's perfect. That's exactly what it looks like. Kermit so, get some copper in his eye. Yeah, you know, those are dark cells or our dark copper. We're gonna put cells in that guy, and we used our cell medium. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. We already added this, didn't we? Is there such a thing as too much copper? Not really. You already made the piece. Oh, that's neon. This is neon green. I was say it helps like pea soup. Nope, it's neon. This is going to be wild. I already like it. <laughs> Let's look at the cup again, just because it's real pretty. <laughs> we like it. We like it. Let's do some gold. Do all this work and all things just gonna be pea soup. No. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. I know. <laughs> it looks cool as heck in this cup though, I'll tell you that much. Alright, so now we just need will you hand me a 12 by 12? Ugh. Oh please. Ugh. Give me a break. She's okay. Work and she's making me do all this work again. Look at this. Isn't that freaking cool? So you were asking what cells are. You can kind of see some of the cells up here already developing, which is kind of what this stuff is. So that's really, really freaking cool. Okay. 12 by 12. Perfect. Perfect. That one's almost 12 and a half by 12 and a half. All right, so this is a 12 by 12. This is number three. Be accurate. <laughs> Please do not confuse everyone. Oh, you didn't make the show earlier, I see. I definitely should have. <laughs> I'm regretting it now. All right, so let's go ahead and see what happens with this guy. Cup full of envy. Ooh, cup of envy. Yes. Oh, wait. I need my mini frames. Yep. Don't get those now that you got them again. <laughs> I can never forget these. Who brought those in? The dog. <laughs> okay. You'll just have to wait and see, Marini. <laughs> yes, it'll cover the whole canvas, and it'll also cover these two little canvases as well. The drip pan canvas, I think, is what she's calling it. Oh, yes, it will. It'll cover the whole canvas when it's done. And that'll be the last painting that we do, is the drip pan painting at the end. Drip tray. So, drip, drip tray. 
There we go. God, this plastic doesn't want to come off. So these are our two by two frames. Freaking adorable, <laughs> right? So tonight when you buy a painting, you get a baby painting free with it. Or I guess not free. I guess you're paying for both of them, but you know what I mean. It comes with it. It's it comes with it. In the price. So it is included as a set. Adorbs. Yes, they're adorable. <laughs> I love them. Ooh, I'm envious already. I love it. Now you do the party pour on the baby paint. Mm, I'm just kind of... The last little bits. Yeah, I'm just pouring paint on these little tiny paintings. <laughs> Gotta do my tiny paintings, guys. Look at that skill. <laughs> I do like those. I know, they're so cute. It's like the coolest thing ever. Thank you, Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, if you're here, we blame you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, that's another technique. Hold on, see. there's still some white on it. I see that. <laughs> And it's okay to use your finger to help it along, and then it just helps the paint flow over it. All right, so let's take a look at that guy. So there's this guy. Isn't that cute? Already envious. Isn't that amazing? And there's your cells, your mini cells. Oh, yes, there's some cells. There's some good examples of the cells. Yeah, I love these, too. These are amazing elk. <laughs> it's amazing how it scales down. I I didn't think it would. All right, I need to. <laughs> Taj is hollering. That's gorge. It's cool. <laughs> this is a cool uh, color combination for sure. I can't wait to do the big painting. So now you got them addicted. You give them a little paintings first. You know, just a little <laughs> crack here, a little crack there. No. You know? Then you really overdose them with the big one. <laughs> Get them hooked. So there's the next one. And that emerald green turned out a little dark, but I am loving it. It's like the color of money to me. Yeah. Which is part of envy, right? Yep. Well, that's true. That's true. Definitely is turning out like that for sure. And then uh, this will be the one that comes with it. See the cells and the big one forming because it's like, nope, I'm not gonna wait. Like the little gold Nike swoosh there. Yep. Yep. Teasing you guys with the littles. I can't <laughs> believe her. That's cool. Everybody's liking them, so I want to give them like a little something extra with their <laughs> painting. So that's that guy. So this is a guy that's wow. going to go with it. So this is going to be the mini me of this painting, guys. And look at the cup. <laughs> Cells in the cup. Yeah, it looks really, really ghost cool. lady in the cup. Yeah. All right, so let's see what we end up with here. This is definitely looking like envy. I'm pretty sure we did that. I'm envious, as I said. And so there are some nice cells. Some good looking cells right there. Ooh, I like how it's different on the other side. Mm-hmm. The big brown blob. And then you've got kind of this part that's different, too. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to try to make a bunch of them elk. I think it'd be really fun. They're just so freaking cute. Like anything mini is cute. Like I know I've told you guys about, about being small. 
Yeah, and I've told you guys about the cooking channel, my mini cooking channels I watch on YouTube, where they have the little mini pots and pans and little mini food and stuff like that. And they're, they have little mini knives, you know, cutlery and... Like, it's so freaking cute. Country roads could use some minis in their life. Everybody can. <laughs> See, yeah, the uh, mini food. <laughs> and Ursi. Oh. And Lisa. Mini stove. And See, Marty's yes. Sister. Yes. God. I, I was hoping she was the only one that watched that. <laughs> oh. There's something wrong with the world. No, it's freaking cool. Yeah, mini pancakes are. Oh, God. Lisa, don't make me hungry. <laughs> Oh no, not with the pancakes again. Who was it that had pan? It was Bex. Yep. You were going to make pancakes that night. Okay, let's tilt it this way and get our last little corner. This is turning out a lot more gold, but I feel like this definitely uh, makes the emotion of envy come across. Like, this almost looks like, I don't know, like King Midas or something. But you can still see the greens, too. Like, the neon green really pops through there. That's freaking cool. Dash of emerald all through the middle. Yeah. Well, it's like the darker emerald black. Like, it, yep. it's a two-toned looking color, which is kind of cool. But we'll have to do a close-up on it. Pancakes! Somebody did say pancakes, Bex. We did say pancakes. A couple people were talking about pancakes, though. Oh. All right. All right, let's just shut the show down and make pancakes. <laughs> Your mom makes pancakes. God, don't look that again. <laughs> We don't need my mom jokes or your mom jokes. Yes, we do. Her mom jokes. We definitely do. All right, so this looks a lot different than the little guy. We're not twins or sisters. Yeah. So there's the little painting that will come with it. Mini Christmas tree waffle maker. <laughs> Ooh. Hey. Check out Bex's closet. We got a mini Christmas tree waffle maker. That sounds fun as heck. Okay, the green is coming through now. Like literally right before our eyes. This was all gold and it's turning green. And you can see our uh, metallic pea soup and our neon green. Lots of cells. We've got a cell section. We've got a cell within a cell. Yeah, the little ones are so cute. I think we definitely got the feeling of envy across in this one. This is freaking cool. I like it. I think we did good on that one. Yeah, the camera does do the shininess justice. I know. It's like a... Yeah, it's got a really nice metallic vibe to it. And then, of course, it comes with this little spacey-looking guy down there. <laughs> little cutie. I just want to cut all of those little paintings. Sure, huh? <laughs> pancakes! Pancakes! Who's got some pancakes? Um. Oh, okay. We need to figure out a name for this. Did we get any names? I didn't see any names. Okay. There was one that I just thought of, and then I just really forgot it. Grinch MB. Grinch Envy. I like it. I'm going to call it uh, King Midas. Oh, gold with Envy. The yes. Midas touch. That's what I was thinking, Cherry. I'm like, that kind of Midas? <laughs> <laughs> yes, like King Midas. You know everything well, he touched? Or the Midas touch is the auto oh. shop Midas. <laughs> That's what I thought when you said Midas. Midas touch? <laughs> Colonoscopy? Oh, Bex. Bex is like, somebody's going to name it that one day. Golden Envy. Golden Envy. I don't know what you're you were eating to get that colonoscopy. 
or you're eating, I don't know, you were eating uh, gold flakes. Foil Kiss, flakes. Kisses with the wrapper still on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pea soup mashup. Yes. Pea soup mashup. Okay. It's a little... This is number three. And this was our greed theme or envy theme. And it comes with the 12 by 12 painting and also our cute little mini guy. So we came up with some really good names for that one. This turned out like really metallic and cool. There's a ton of cells in it. You can definitely see the green. You can see the gold. You can see the coppers. You can see the darker emerald. Really, really cute. So you can see all the little cells developing there. Not bad. There's our uh, neon green. This one's really fun. Yay, Taj got it. It was her idea. Congrats, Taj. It's awesome. <laughs> and you're also the winner of the little mini me, too. So now you have to name it. Peekaboo Envy, I'll add that to the list. Okay, so we had Grinch Envy, King Midas, Gold with Envy, Midas Touch, Colonoscopy, Golden <laughs> Envy, Pea Soup Mashup, and Peekaboo Envy. Or, of course, the name of your choice. Somebody said Bubbling Caramel, too. Bubbling Caramel? Okay, I'll add that to our... Do you want Gold with Envy? Our list of names. I think Vex just likes hearing you say Colonoscopy. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Look what I can get her to say. Yeah. <laughs> Gold with Envy. Good choice, Taj. I like it too. I feel like that's super accurate. It's got gold. That's Envy. Yeah. So now you have to decide if you want to accessorize this guy. And if so, what do you want to accessorize it with? And then we also have to figure out, do we want to accessorize this little guy? <laughs> Take a little look at that guy again. Oh, sorry. Can't change the name now, Taj. <laughs> she wants to name it Envy Evolved. Evolved <laughs> I like that name, actually. I do, too. <laughs> I do, too. All right. Let me write that guy down. That's Envy Evolved. Yes. Da, 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 da. I like it. Because the envy involved into evolved into the gold. All right. No. Well, that's kind of why I thought she <laughs> thought of that. I know you love it when I'm home. Oh, I can't wait to do number four, which is anger. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> Maybe some angry tipping. Is being day. annoyed an emotion? I don't know. Gold flakes in the lower right corner. Ooh, nice touch. See, that's why she yeah. thought of it. Yep, a little bland down there. I like the idea of zipping it up a little bit. Well, then we got to figure out, are we going to decorate the little guy? Uh, no, she still fails at finding green glass. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get on Amazon. It's just, I barely, like... Yeah, I got the. It's only been like three days. I'm sure you've never had the chance to get on Amazon. Well, I got the foil. I have to <laughs> gradually get. I have to gradually get all the stuff for it. Oh, uh, that looks great. No, I don't have any green glass, unfortunately. I do want some green glass. I want some uh, black glass too. Still building up my supplies here. She'll get it right after Christmas. <laughs> And nobody will ask for green glass ever again. The shipping isn't helping, I have no, to say. The like bad. the shipping stuff isn't helping. Um let me think. I do have this gold glass. I have the smaller gold glass, and then I have this gold glass. It's a little chunkier, so I haven't really advertised it on here that much. But we could use this too. This is uh like gold. Oh wait. It'd be helpful if I did that. Yeah. So I haven't really, but I do have this. I just didn't know if anybody would want this one. 
How are they going to know if you never advertise it? Because, I don't know, they're like bigger pieces <laughs> than the other gold I have. Let's try it, Todd says. Okay. I think it'd look nice in this one. Envy. Big, big things. People envy big things. They're just bigger pieces of glass. I didn't know how people would feel about them, but... Is that where she wants it? Yes. <laughs> she said the lower right corner. That was the gold flakes. <laughs> but she said yes. She saved you. I can't wait to do this painting <laughs> show earlier tomorrow. <laughs> Delete that comment. <laughs> That looks cool. Gives some cool texture. It looks cool with the flakes. Yeah, the flakes and the glass combo. Like, do you want cool. more uh, glass in it or more gold flakes in it? Do you feel like you have enough? Or, or do you want to add any glitter or anything else to this guy? She said I like it, period. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean she may just like that part. She may want to add something to oh, another part of it. I don't think she would have put the period. Oh, jeez. See? Darn. A little gold glitter. See? I thought she might want She probably that. just wanted something just to prove me wrong. No, I think... <laughs> I think that... I agree that her fan Fantastic design. I like that name, too. Where is our color that we need? There you are. All right, which gold do you want, Taj? I've got. Yep. Number I want one. Glitter in my eyes. Or number two. That's a poor glitter in your eyes. <laughs> number one. Nice, nice. This one's kind of got like a green gold uh, finish to it, which I think would look amazing in this. <laughs> Nice, Bex. That's a good name for a pancake shop. The pancake snob. The pancake snob. Ooh, it sounds like they got some really good pancakes there. If they're snobs, they've got to know a lot about the pancakes. They better have some good pancakes, if they call them that. I love it. This is awesome. This is a good color of glitter. Aww. You picked the perfect color. Paper cut style? I hate paper cuts. Oh. Oh, man. Those hurt. Those hurt. Or did you cut your finger off with some scissors? Scissor cut. Uh, oh, no. Those aren't as bad as paper cuts. She's fine. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, they do. They hurt just as bad. They hurt. Oh, my God. Scissors? When I was younger, I accidentally like cut my finger open with some scissors. I still have the scar from it. I've been traumatized since. She loves it. Taj loves it. Thank you. I love it too. Thank you, Taj. You got some great colors. Oh, isn't it just great having an assistant? <laughs> it is. It's really just so helpful. You can tell how helpful he is. <laughs> Zinnia Styles, you know what you're talking about right there. I make sure she gets all the corners. And I read the chat very well. Yeah, we like to add some detail to these guys. And then look at this top part. Isn't that just so cool? <laughs> I love your chat. <laughs> anything on the mini? Do you want anything on the mini? They're asking. <laughs> the minis I have to save for a project. No, Todd is mini. Like accessories. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> accessories for us mini. Hold on, let me get it. Together. If she wants it. Yeah, it's up to her, but... <laughs> Usually everybody wants to match. Yeah, omelets sound good too. I, I don't even know what a Greek omelet is. Is it like a gyro? See, I can say gyro instead of gyro. Good for you. <laughs> I'm sophisticated. I'm sure everybody's real impressed with that. Taj would like a little sprinkle of glitter on the mini. And foil. Um, Foil and glitter. Perfecto. Yeah, I think that glass may be a little big for that guy. But I think definitely the glitter. She lost the glitter already. And the foil will be perfect. Heck right. yeah. Always plan ahead, Vex. 
We try. I don't know. I always try to plan ahead. It doesn't always work out for me. No. We always, usually when we get a meal, we plan on having it the next day, too. Logo flakes. Oh, White Castle. That sounds delicious. <laughs> This one's so cute. She did the smiley face with the hearts. And eyes. these are colors that Taj likes, too. Did you do the glitter? Yeah. Good. I did the glitter and the gold foil plates on this guy. Oh, she didn't want the foil. Yes, she did. <laughs> like, be quiet. You can't be helpful. I am being helpful. <sighs> That's why she did the smiley face with the hearts in it. She loves it. Okay. As long as Taj <laughs> loves it, that's all that matters. Putty, putty, putty. Putty, putty, pretty. All right, so what's next on our list? Anger. Oh, and we've got our drip pan situation going on here. Got a lot of paint on this guy. Can't believe she used my red striped paint she was making for me as a drip pan. They can't see your looks through the, uh, the chat, sweetie. Yeah, I'm shooting daggers through my eyes right now because you're so annoying. Greek omelet has feta cheese, caramel, calamari, lots olive, more wine, a little tomato, and I like spinach. Hmm. That's something I would really like. Yep. Bex, that sounds really good. I I like regular cheese, American cheese. Oh my god, <laughs> it's America. All right, so anger is our next one. This should be perfect for us right now. Yep, Al, Al can feel the, the looks being sent in my direction. Yeah, you're so annoying. Love you too, sweetie. All right, so we've got all of these reds. I feel like, let me see, we need some flow troll. I hear you there, Sandy Mermaid. Probably get crackers tonight. Thanks to my behavior. <laughs> Actually, that would be a good idea. If you do the show earlier, you can make me dinner more. Well, that's all right. <laughs> You're fine. Black. You don't look like you missed any dinners, so I'm not that worried oh, about that. Oh, is that an insult to the assistant? <laughs> All right, so. You got two votes for black, definitely. Yep. Reds. <laughs> Ouch. Thanks, Bex. <laughs> she is a big meanie. You, you got to talk to her. <laughs> In an acrylic form. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Let's just add like, a, just like when we add a cell phone to it or add a, yep. we're going to add a Vincent to it. I'll be like Han Solo, stuck, stuck in the paint. And when we say we're going to add a cell phone to it, that means when we accidentally drop our cell phone in the painting. Or one time I dropped this in the painting. It's still stuck together from dropping it <laughs> in the painting. So it's like, yeah, let's just add a, let's add a this to it. Let's add a cell phone to it. We'll add you to the painting, all right? All right, so I don't know how we feel. We've got black, and then we've got all of these reds. I don't know how you guys feel about having them all in here. But the first two we have are magenta and bright red. And they're all kind of, you know, they're all going to be reds, but they're just a little different in color wise. Yeah, where's your burgundy? It's right here. Oh. I'm just, I'm, I was doing these first to see. I'm sorry. She if you can't go... hold four bottles at one time. Sorry. So we've got bright red and we've got the magenta. And then we've also got the magenta deep which i call burgundy because that's really how it looks and then i've got the crimson and we can mix them together and make a darker red getting a yes yes and a yes yes so we're like. just so we're thinking about using all of these the black and then do we want to add anything to it um i don't have like a dark black red but i can make one dark purple neon orange um, let me see. Let me put this guy up here for you guys to look at. Violet. And then we can vote on them, too. 
Got two votes for silver. All right, we'll do silver since we're doing a black. You got that knife blade over there threatening me. Oh my God, stop it. No, Cherry, no copper. <laughs> I like copper. I know. <laughs> okay, so what do you guys think about the violet? Do you guys like the violet in it? Okay. Yep, getting a bunch of yeses. All right, so we've got that. Um, uh, somebody else said gold and copper. But I don't know. I like the idea of the red and the black. Just a little hint of purple. Well, we can do a gold, too. What do you guys think? <coughs> We've got black, silver, violet, and all this. You guys want to do a gold? Okay. Taj wants gold. Okay. Percy wants gold. Yeah, I'm glad you put the purple in there. Purple and black to match the bruises you gave me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> Do we want cells in this guy? Half cells. Oh, a rusty copper? Um, are you talking about this copper or our... Where's our cinnamon spice color? We've also got this cinnamon spice color. Number one. Copper. The first one, yep. Okay. Todd and Wendy are on the same page. Do you guys want the other copper too? Or just the first or just the other copper? Here's our other copper. Just the first one. Okay. Put it away. <laughs> Which <laughs> ones do we want cells in? Or not? Or are we do? Uh somebody said half cells. Okay. So red. Yeah, <laughs> they want cells in the red. <laughs> okay. Well, that'd probably be a good one to do because we've got three reds. We'll just do them in these three. Well, let's see what happens. Yes, I know she has four reds, but it's hard to count sometimes. It's perfect for these. Ooh. Angry cells in the red, yeah. Well, I mean we have a burgundy, but I don't I I don't know. Like this is not really a red. They didn't say anything about the four. <laughs> I just, just, Angry cells. Rawr, rawr. Your mom's an angry cell. My wife's an angry cell. <laughs> I'm gonna be in an angry cell. <laughs> angry cells. <laughs> <laughs> right? They're very angry. All right, let's do our cell medium. Yes. Boxes. Two of them, and then we'll do our silicone drops in the other one. That one. The burgundy doesn't get deserved to be called a red. No, it doesn't. It's not a red. You know, it's called what? Magenta, magenta deep. Magenta. Magenta is pink. Magenta. Yeah, you're not from Texas, so you're just, you don't have an excuse. <laughs> All right, so we're going to mix our cell mixture into these guys. Good choice. Yeah, I'm excited for this one. Excited to be angry. I'm just excited because these colors are like, this is just a lot different than anything we normally do on here. And it's been cool to see what colors people associate with. Yeah, emotions. Yeah. Pretty cool. And I'm just mixing these up kind of in random order here. Because the colors do what they want. They do exactly what they want. And that's kind of like a pretty tomato red, really. Yeah, did you write these colors down? No, I've never had to write the colors down. That's always well, you. You should write them down. You have anger written down, that's all. <laughs> well, write them down. Ugh. Thank you, Wendy. Giving me another job? Oh, please. <coughs> I see you're no just, colors under Envy either. You're just sitting there. You may as well do something. I don't know how you're ever going to make an Envy painting again if you never wrote down the colors. Well, uh, you're going to write them down. Purple, black, and red. Gold. 
gold, <laughs> violet. Oh, it is violet. Write down three reds. Just write three reds. Gold, black, violet, orange. No. Copper. Copper. All three reds. Medanta. You know what? I'll write it down in a minute. Don't worry about it. All right. Let me get my little canvases, too. And uh, let me get our next one. Yeah, you can go get your own canvas this time. Well, I'm getting my canvas because you're writing everything down. Yep. Already done. Good. Do little stick figures and everything. Uh, and what I can... <coughs> And where I can read it would be amazing. Nope, we can read that. Is dinner ready yet? Oh, almost a big fail on Leah. Let's add a light to this one. <laughs> May as well. We've added everything else. All right, so this is number four. Good job. Count. And this is an 11 by 14. And then let me put our drip pan painting guy right here. And this cup yeah, is in a really precarious position. It's kind of overflowing. So. Oh, yeah, it's spilling. Yeah, I know. It's spilling. I see it. Thank you. <laughs> All right. You angry for the angry painting. No, I don't need any help. I'm good. All right, so let's take a look at the cup. Ooh. All right. Definitely. <laughs> Exploding with anger, the cup. I like it. These colors look like they're going to be really cool. Let yeah. me get some mini canvases, too. Because, you know, we're all about the minis right now. Yep. Remember who brought those in? <laughs> Lest we ever forget. <laughs> Do you have anything you need to do anywhere else in the rest of the house? Nope. I'm off work. Are Ready you to sure? relax, watch you do some paintings, hang out with the chat. <laughs> <laughs> walk the dog? No, I'm not walking it. That thing's not even a dog. Stop hating on my dog. Buddy. <laughs> All right. He wouldn't leave with me. He loves her. He's got good taste. Tiny. Smaller than the cat. <laughs> the cat beats it up. No, it doesn't. She thinks it's playing, but really it's just smashing it in the face. Angrily. Ooh, look at this cup. Wow, that looks freaking cool, guys. I can't wait coffee. to see this. All right, look at this. Ooh. That's pretty. Turn it upside down, it's a toad. It does look like an eye. Two eyeballs and the frowny face. It's a toad. You're a toad. I still see the toad. Your mom's a toad. Now it's a snake. Ah, and the snake's destroyed. All right. <laughs> and it's gone. And it's, yeah. All right. So much for the reds. It looks freaking <laughs> cool. I love it. You, But the thing is, like, you never know what colors are going to come out. You can pour them in there, and it doesn't really matter what you want. It's about what the painting wants. Told you she wasn't angry enough. It didn't happen. The painting didn't flow. It looks good. I, I like, like it. it. I do like it. <laughs> Look at the gold metallics on this. You guys can't see them yet, but it looks the gold in this is freaking beautiful. It is kind of dark. Anger is a dark emotion. It's true. I mean, you kind of like, you know, and we used a lot of red. It's just funny sometimes yeah. what comes through and what doesn't. You know, we don't always have control over that. But I'm loving this. And you guys should see the cells that are popping out of this part. Look at that. That's freaking cool. I gotta do a close-up for you guys, though. Yeah, let it hang like that. Oh, fuck. Sorry. 
<laughs> you know, you could take over a painting if you'd like. Anger wasn't really a good one for me. I don't get angry. Look at that. That is cool. And I'm just kind of holding it to see if we can get some more of this red and this pink in here. But I really love this. It looks like my wife's finger is pointing at me. <laughs> Her big red finger. I'm angry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely, Angela. We're going to put a big check by this one. This one ended up looking super cool. I love this. This has got to be one of my favorites. Check. I thought you put stars next to the good one. <sighs> I do put stars <laughs> next to it. Oh my god. Yeah, the purple cells in the black in that one area was great too. I love this. This has got to be one of my favorites. This almost looks like Valentine's Day or something to me. I don't know. This looks like. Oh my gosh. Yeah, those purple cells. And the purple cells have gold around them, if you'll notice. And you guys can see this has got a lot of metallic shine to it. It almost looks like glitter. But it's not. It's just the gold in the painting. Bling bling. Yep, every Valentine's Day for me, Zinnia. Zinnia. When you don't get a Valentine gift and you get angry. Exactly. I love it. I, I'm sorry. This is awesome. No, I love the, the pinks. And the this turned out a lot different than what I had in my mind. But look at these cells. Angry cells. Oh. oh that's a good name. Somebody should write that down. You should write that down. <laughs> oh, my God. Assist if you're an assistant. I just feel angry. And then you can look at see the corner there. Isn't that amazing? And the gold. I'm in love with this one. I love it. I know we were trying to be angry with this, but this turned out like not angry. This turned out <coughs> cool to me. I can see some angry. Right? I'm in love with this. Got some darkness. Definitely got some darkness. I'm in love with it, guys. This is so cool. All right, now next Valentine. That's good. We got to do our minis. If anybody has any good ideas for names while I'm doing these minis, and then we'll auction off the uh, painting along with a mini. And like I said, we're not going to be auctioning off minis with every painting, but I don't know. Right now, we're really uh, liking them. Yeah, I think I've seen three people say they want a set of minis. They're so just so cool. Like, They're just so cool. You can decorate a whole dollhouse with them. Oh, my gosh. Already. They're for your doghouse slash trunk. <laughs> who was telling him he needs someone to... Who was saying he needs to be put in the trunk? Somebody that's needs to... Thing. Yeah, they need. A, that's a good suggestion. <laughs> Ocean of Destruction. That's a good one. This, I'm just taken back by this glitter. This part of the painting, like this is gold on the black. Like this looks freaking cool. It looks like there's a bunch of glitter in this, but it's not. It's just the metallic. It's going to be awesome. That when one it dries. a little hard to read. I tried. Darts of anger. I need to be able to read it. All right. And then here's one of the minis. Isn't that adorable? So that's mini number one. This, oh, this, this gold. time you gave him the big one instead of those three small ones first, huh? Huh? Yeah. Well, it's good because we can think of names for the painting too to suggest to the winner. But um, I like giving people, you know, some different names. And plus you guys can really see how the cells are continuing to develop in this one. I like it. The broken Valentine. Yes. Yeah, I'm getting Valentine's Day out of this one. I really am. I'm getting really strong 
like Valentine's Day vibes. Anger cells. Anger cells, anger cells. I can't read your handwriting. Okay, there's the other mini. Heartbroken. That, Mr. Angry Valentine. You guys, you can see the freaking gold metallic in this. This is so metallic y. Heartbroken. I love this gold on this. Uh, On this black, it looks amazing. <laughs> Love is not not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's just correcting herself. <laughs> lava love. Just don't ever name lava anything. Love. Don't ever name any of these paintings "Live, Laugh, Love." All right, that is the only name that is banned <laughs> from this chat. You guys are allowed to name whatever you want. We just can never name a painting "Live, Laugh, Love," or "Love, Laugh, Live," or whatever it is. That is banned from the chat. I know what somebody's getting for Christmas. <laughs> no. <laughs> or bless this house. No. Give you a bunch of bless this house. That one's all right. No, that one's okay. <laughs> it's the live, laugh, love. I can't deal with. Okay. I'll or the love, signs. live. Or the live, I laugh. You, right. you know what I mean. Well, I'm okay it's... with bless this house. I can't deal with live, laugh, love. <laughs> okay this looks cool that's right Taj you'll heal that sucks be nice, be nice to your poor thumb that sucks that is no fun you can take like a Tylenol or an Mine. ibuprofen or something too I've noticed that helps Okay, let's look at it again, though, because this is uh, almost a different painting now. All the red's coming through. Here it comes. Look at that purple with the gold. Flying Lots of jingle art. cells. Dylan Nova. I'm running out of room. That's all the names we got. No, you make room for new names. And then look at this. You see how metallic-y this is? I wish the metallic was really coming through. And yeah, then the purple cells are great. And then look at these. You got some red wave neck dimes. This one is just awesome. I'm I'm like I love this one. This is a good one. We did a great job on this. We did an amazing job on that. And whoever wins, you guys can pick out which mini that you want. Because these two are darker, and then this one is like more red. So whoever wins can pick <coughs> out the mini. How nice of you. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> well, because I can't tell, like, neither, like, none of the three. Usually I pick out the one that looks most like the painting, but none of these little ones look like that painting. So, so basically they would have to failed. pick it out. No, they would have to pick it out. Escaping Heartbreak. I like that, too. That's a good one. So we'll auction this guy off for you guys. This is a 11 by 14. So you can tell that this one is, a um, yeah, a rectangle, and it's going to be longer from here to here, and it's going to be, this is the shorter side, and then you get the mini of your choice, but we really did great on this, guys, for real. This one is amazing. Even though it's more Valentine's Day. Than yeah, no, great. but it's beautiful. Like, this, <laughs> the cells in this one are great. Um Put a star by that one for our color combination. Is it a star or a check? It's a star. This one definitely gets a star. I definitely want to do this one star. again. Sure. This is like a Valentine's Day theme, guys. This is gorgeous. We should definitely do this again uh, during Valentine's Day. Congratulations, Sandra Styles. Congratulations, Sandra Styles. You got a really great one. I love it. To me, like this almost feels like the bottom part of the heart. Yep. And then look at, the, oh my gosh, look at this beautiful cell developing there. That's pretty. I hope you love it. Oh, it's your first purchase? Awesome. Well, I'll have to send you a backseat painter's button. Yeah, make sure she gets a button or a bottle of her. Or... Mirror. <laughs> now that you've made three. I made like five <laughs> yesterday. I don't know. But yeah, no, first timers, 
You gotta get your backseat banner, uh, backseat painter's badge. This one's a bottle opener magnet, so I'll be sure to send you one. Cause now you're official. Yep. Thank you, Sanders. Glad you can enjoy the painting. But now you have to name it. Now this is where it gets yep. down to it because you're gonna have to name it. Yep. Will you read out the names? No, you should read. I can't read your handwriting. You read it. <sighs> it was gonna be funny. Angry Valentine, Vexed Valentine, Ocean of Destruction, Dart of Anger, The Broken Valentine, Anger Cells, Leah, <laughs> Mr. Angry Valentine, Heartbroken, Escaping Heartbreak, <laughs> Love of Love, My Angry Valentine, and Flying Hearts. So you can choose one of those names to name the painting. Or you, can um, pick your own. or you can pick your own, or if you want me to leave it blank, I can do that for you too. It's however you want to do it. If you want to name it Leah, I won't blame you. <laughs> I'm surprised there's no colonoscopy in that list. I think Bex is busy. She's making ornaments. But you can name it whatever you want, then we'll accessorize it. If you want to, you don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to do that either. Escaping heartbreak. I like it. I yeah, think that's, that's a pretty. good one. Is that on our list? Yes. That's what I thought. I just can't read your writing. There it is. Yeah. Escaping now you heartbreak. Really can't read it. Perfect. <laughs> okay, now you get to pick which mini you want. So your choices are number one. That's the first mini. That one's red. And then number two. Not so red. That's the second mini. Well, it does have some little red, red cells. Yeah. And then here is the third mini. Kind of purpley. It's got like the violet and the... <laughs> I don't know. It's got some real pretty metallic yeah, in it. Love number three. I was going to say, Angela, it's not yours. <laughs> <laughs> Angela loves the minis. I do too. I do too, though. <laughs> And I think this one is like really like I don't know. That's probably the closest that, to that, that guy. Purple's awesome, yeah. Yeah. The, yep. So I'm gonna take the other two guys um, in to dry, and then you let me know how um, or if you want to accessorize this painting. Do you want to add any glass? Do you want to add any glitter? Awesome, Sandra. We're glad to make your night. Good. I'm glad that you are enjoying your nope, night. This no is fun. You like it as is? Okay, so you like it as is? That's perfect. Yeah, I really love this one. I like how the um, burgundy is turning into the red now, too. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And then it just goes into the reds. That's really fun. Yep. She does sign paintings sometimes, but the really rare ones I sign. No, he does not <laughs> sign any. I sign the paintings, we date the paintings, and then I write the name on the back of the paintings. Unless you don't want a name or anything like that. Yeah, this is a great one. This was a winner, guys. Yeah, you got yourself a cool one there, Sandra. We're definitely going to do this theme again like during Valentine's Day. Someday she'll be famous and I won't have to work anymore. Oh, please. <laughs> you wish. Thanks for sharing the show there, Sandra. Thank you. No, you have to work. You are not going to hang out around here all day. If I was day. around the house all day, she'd love it. No, you are not going to be here all day. <laughs> yeah, all the backseat painters are awesome people in here. So it's I'm, a good crowd. It's a good show to share. We yeah. like to have fun. Everybody's really cool, and there are a lot of really talented people in here that um, make things, too. Yeah. And so I'm assuming that the mini, that you don't want to do anything to that guy, either. You don't want to add anything to this guy. But it's totally up to you. Nice. Oh, that's cool, Sandra. Totally up to you. You got this little cutie here. You can add some accessories to it or you can leave it alone. You can see it's got that really pretty, like, this has got burgundy. It's got the gold. It's got the silver. Yep. Uh, the chat will 
give you opinions, but it's ultimate up to you. As is, she says. Okay. Yeah, not cute. It's because it's a mini. Yep. <laughs> you get a mini painting too to share. <laughs> you get a mini painting. You get a mini painting. <laughs> they can be like friendship paintings, you know? <laughs> you get the big one and then you give the little one. Or you can use the little one as a keychain. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. I want to do make something with them. I just don't know what yet. Technology backs, I tell you. Aw, it's for Sanders mom. Oh, that's awesome. I hope she loves it. Paintings are good gifts. It's like... You don't have to tell her it's an anger painting. <laughs> <laughs> it did not come out like that, though. That came out cool. All right, so let's do painting number five. When We got nothing for five. We got five and six, so we got two paintings left. So we can either do some more emotions or somebody could throw some color schemes out there. Whatever you guys want to do. But we are getting our drip pan painting nice and saturated. This is going to look cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> so. Oh, dang it. Bex, you may have to make your own pancakes. Anything but that. Oh, my gosh. I don't feel like, I like cooking sometimes, but I have not felt like cooking lately. Well, I am glad that you're still here and that you're having a good, good time. All right, let me write that down. Let's see. Purples, blues, pinks, silver. All right, let's grab some colors and go with that. Um, where's my other purple? Oh, there you are. Blues. We got a lot of blues. We'll be here all day with these blues. We got a lot of blues. Blues and coppers. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, we like it. Yeah, here goes half a paint stash blue. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a green. All right, and then we do have these blues. Um, Let's see, fluorescent green, that's easy. Only got one of those. Well, I don't know, you could consider the chartreuse, too. Pea soup? Yep. And that one, really. Okay. Now let's make some decisions here. We got some hard decisions to make. So we got our uh, like neon green type colors, our bright green type colors. We'll do those last. We've got all of our blues and then we've got our purples. Oh, you said pinks too. <laughs> make some room. Oh Lord, here we go. Scoot it on over. Here we go. Here we go. Got plenty of that. Well, that's the same thing as the neon. Okay, now I think we're ready. All right, I guess that's a purple too. Okay, um, silver. Which is the one that told me deep magenta was a pink. Go away. <laughs> Go find something to do. Okay, so silver. Yeah, there's no theme on this one. This was just a color suggestion. So let's pick the purples first. Then we'll pick the blues, then we'll pick the pinks, um, and then we definitely got to do the silver, and then we'll pick the greens. All right, so for the purples, let's figure out what you guys want for purples. I know you're sad, but I'm going to go out to my doghouse for a minute. Awesome. See you later. All right, so we've got, let's see, bright violet. Maybe we should just vote on them color by color. There's a lot of colors. Let's just go color by color. I'm trying to organize this here. I'm not very good at it. So this is our bright violet. How do you guys feel about this? Oh, yeah. I've definitely done an all metallic one before, and it came out gorgeous. We should definitely do one again. We can do that next if you'd like. Okay, this is a yes. 
So let me write down that for our next painting. The next one is going to be all metallics. And then we can pick out which metallics that we want. So that'll be for number six, and that'll be our last painting. So we got our color scheme together here. All right, so we voted yes on this guy. How do you guys feel about the lavender? No. I'm going now. Bye. See you later. I'm, I'm going to go outside. Can you just go outside? All right, this is light violet. This is our pretty new purple color. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Everyone's well, saying they're glad too. that you're leaving. <laughs> All right. So, okay. Yes. I love this color. This color is awesome. Yes, exactly. Enough already. Like, ugh. So annoying. It's so much better now that he's not in here. All right. So now we've got... <laughs> Uh, metallic violet and regular violet. It's pretty much the same color, except one is metallic and one is not. Okay. Definitely the metallic. We are loving that. That's definitely one of our favorites. All right. And all right. So we've got our purples. So we've made the decision on those. And the next thing we have to decide on is our blues. Okay. Okay. So let's see. So we've got our purples. We've got the metallic violet. We've got the light violet and we've got the bright violet. Now let's go through our blues. Um, lake blue. Okay. That's a yes. And the next one is going to be Ultramarine. Okay. Those are pretty colors. Um, we've got our Tallow Blue. Okay. And then we've got our Pool Party Blue. Okay, so we won't do that one. Um, we've got sky blue. This is kind of like our baby blue or light blue. Okay. And then we've got our, what is this, pearl blue? This one? Oh, this is black, I think. This is like a light blue. I think we've got that color. I think that's the sky blue. I don't know. It's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, this is like the sky blue color. I think. It might be a mixture of a couple colors, actually. It's really pretty. Then we've got turquoise. We love a good turquoise. I don't know if we love it in this, though. No? Okay. Um, what about our cobalt metallic blue? Okay. Um, and then our last blue are, is our cerulean blue. And this is the color that guy is. Okay. We like it. All right. Now we have our pinks. That we're going to vote on. This is our neon pink. Yeah, the cobalt metallic blue is beautiful. <clears throat> it's probably one of my favorites, honestly. Okay, yes to that guy. All right, we've got our fuchsia. This is kind of like a Barbie pink. Okay, we're going to do a yes on that guy. We've got our purple neon. Ok, 
Okay. No to that guy. And then we've got our pink, which is kind of like a baby pink color. Okay. Yes to that guy. And then yes to the silver. Everybody has already said they like silver. And now we're going to vote on our neonish green colors. So we've got our pea soup, our chartreuse. Okay. We've got our neon green. Okay. We're doing no on that guy. And then we've got our um, light green, which is kind of like a spring green. Okay. Let's do that guy. <clears throat> All right. So we got our colors here. So let me just write these down. We've got sky blue. We've got pearl blue. We've got tallow blue. We've got neon violet. We've got light violet. We've got metallic violet. We've got lake blue. Aquamarine. Neon pink, metallic cobalt, blue, we have fuchsia, we have pink, we have chartreuse, we have silver, we have light green, and there we go. So let's see what we can do with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by mixing these two blues because these are liquid acrylics. These are not pour paint brands. Um, and so the other ones are ready to pour, but these two are just liquid acrylic. So I need to uh, mix these with some Floetrol so that they're able to be ready to pour. And then after that, we will mix the other colors. But does anybody have any thoughts on which colors you wanna do cells on? Or if we even wanna do cells? And we got a lot of colors on this guy. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So not as many colors as the as the blues, but still pretty good there. All right, so let's go ahead and water these guys down a little bit so that they're pour ready. So the cells are going to be like the little guys that um, it makes like the little circles in the painting. Like, for example, let me show you. Let's see. Here's a great example of cells. So I'll show you with one of these little guys. So the cells are going to be kind of like the little circles in these. They form cells when we add uh, when we add the silicone drops in the cell medium. We get cells. Those are super really cool cells. The colors. Um, let's see. Yeah, this one has a lot. It just depends on the painting. Sometimes we add um a lot of colors sometimes we don't add as many colors it just depends on what people want to see and what we kind of vote on and sometimes the more colors the better it just really depends Teresa you got us all stuck on the mini frames On the mini canvases, for sure. Oh, and by the way, um, for anybody <clears throat> that knows what I'm talking about, I uploaded a video on my YouTube channel about using Flip, which is a bot that will help you get your Posh Ambassador status really quickly. So I kind of did a tutorial on what the settings should be and everything like that. Um, so if anybody 
is in, in, interested in that, be sure to check it out. All right, do we want cells in any of these guys? Let's see, I got the blues. Okay, metallic cobalt, Taj suggested. Metallic cobalt, light blue, metallic violet, and the silver. Perfect. Yes, Flip is free, and it's F-L-Y-P, and it's joinflip.com, but you can check out my YouTube channel. It's EcoPosh for you. All of my socials are EcoPosh for you, and um, I kind of did like a little tutorial about it because I know some people had a couple questions about how it worked, and it can really help you guys with your closet. It'll send auto offers, um, you know, because I think it really helps when you send offers to people. Uh, with a shipping discount and you send them an offer for like, say, maybe 10% off. So I kind of talk about the settings and everything like that. And Flip will send the order, the, the orders, the offers out automatically for you. So it's a really helpful tool um, for those of you that are trying to get your Posh Ambassador status and those of you that are trying to get some more sales. But if anybody has any questions about it, feel free to send me a message. And I will try to answer them the best that I can. All right. So there's our purple. And then we've got our silver. And then these are going to be the colors that we're doing the cells in. So we're going to do half with our silicone drops and half with our cell medium. Yeah. Um, it depends on what kind of app you use. I use one shop app. So I um it's it that one is forty five dollars a month, but to me I feel like it's worth it. I feel like it helps me with my sales. Um, but I also do use Flip because I have a wholesale closet on Poshmark where I sell wholesale, and I also have uh, my husband has a closet, so I use Flip on the wholesale store, and I also use it on my husband's closet, and then I use the One Shop app, which is the paid app, um, on my main closet. So I've got, uh, I've had some different experiences using all of those for sure. So I just kind of like to share my experience. And so hopefully people can learn from my uh, mistakes and my successes. So I'm just mixing these cell mediums in with these colors that we're going to be mixing with. My wholesale store right now, I don't really have that much on it. I used to put my um, Amazon overstock on it because I would sell things in three packs, which is part of what you have to do to be um, accepted to the Poshmark wholesale status. But I've been selling a lot of my stuff during Posh shows, so there's not much on my wholesale closet right now. But if you want to visit it, it's ecoposh for you underscore PM. And anybody that has a wholesale store, um, it'll be their name and then it'll be underscore eco posh or I mean it'll be your name underscore and then PM for Poshmark but if anybody has some questions please let me know yes Teresa you can definitely message me and I also made that video on YouTube and I go through each um, group of settings on it like um, my suggestions for what to set everything at but definitely message me and I'll see what if I can help for sure because I think it's a really good app to use, honestly. All right, so I was talking and I put some of my colors up. I start getting distracted. <laughs> so let me get my color list back out. So we did the pink. Sorry about that, guys. There's our pink. There's our sky blue. Or chartreuse, because you know we all, all like this color. This is like colors, like a thing now. Um, need our neon pink. This is looking interesting. I gotta say.
Yes, Teresa, and let me know if you need help with the settings, because honestly, I really highly recommend that for everybody to try. Um, I like doing the posh lives. I think they're awesome. I like the posh shows a lot. I think they're fun. I've met a lot of really cool people doing these. And um, it's been enjoyable. That like This painting, this was a, kind of an experiment to see if anybody would be interested. And it's turned out to be pretty cool. I enjoy painting anyway. And so for me, it's really fun to be able to share that with other people. Because normally it would just be me sitting here trying something out. And I would be the only one that, you know, got to see how it ended up looking. And it's more fun when, uh, you know, you guys can share in that as well. All right. I think we've almost got all of our colors here. I don't know. How do you guys feel about silent auctions? All right, I'm just double checking our colors here. Nice. Nice, nice. Oh, this looks fun. That looks cool. Yeah, the minis, unfortunately, we've, I'm doing something with those guys. I've got somebody that wants some magnets out of them. But um, this one I will do, every painting tonight does, if you win any painting tonight in the auction, you do get a mini. It comes with your painting. But I can't auction off the other ones because I have to use those for a custom order. Look how pretty that metallic uh, cobalt blue is. Every time. Every, every time. But we're giving, I'm auctioning them off with these guys too, so. They're just so cute. Why are they so cute? Everyone loves them just because they're adorable. Like I said, I think it's just anything mini. Anything that's miniature size and smaller, people are like, okay, this is really fun. And look at the cup. You can see that cobalt metallic blue right in the middle of it. Silent auction off the minis. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I could do a silent auction. I just, I don't know. They irritate me for some reason. I don't want to offend anybody that does do the silent auctions, but I'm just like, I don't know. I can't get into them. I just feel like, you know, we have posh shows so that people can actually see what they're buying. And like, they may as well just go look at it in your closet. I don't know why they need a posh show for that. And the other thing, too, is there are so many people waiting to do posh shows. It feels like it's almost unfair to those people to not have people that will actually do real shows. Because we're taking up the space of people that, like, I don't know. Like I said, I don't want to offend anybody with it. I think it's probably a good place to get some really good deals, you know? All right, so there's that guy. This is our 12 by 12. And then we need our minis, too, because that's a thing now. At least tonight, it's a thing. So we got our little mini guys here. Yeah, I kind of agree with you, Sandra Styles. And yeah, when you're trying to look at the at the listings, like you kind of want to find a show that's like real, and it does kind of clutter it up when there's like a lot of silent auctions. It's kind of like, okay, I just want a regular posh show. I gotta keep scrolling through all this stuff. That's true, Bex. We do. We want her to, um, we want her to come on our show. She seems fun. Yes, let's do it. Let's message her. All right. Ooh, oh my gosh, 
gosh, look how fun this one is. All right. All right, I, that was not, that didn't work out great for me. My minis, I'll just put them right there. Okay, let's do a close up on this guy. Isn't that beautiful? Whoa, you guys did that. Look at that. That was you guys did, you guys did that. That was not a color combination I would have thought of. I'm covering my minis too. Oh my God. I love this one. Look at the colors in this guy. This is awesome. OMG. You never know how they're going to turn out. And this one is great. Look at all the cool colors in this one. This is really fun. I'm totally getting like rainbow space vibes. I don't know. 80s space vibes. Something like that. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, the cells are amazing. And I feel like we have some really, really good ones coming up through here. Why don't you write them down from the garage? Better yet, you can type them up. Isn't it beautiful? Like I said, you guys did that with the colors. These colors are winners. All right, now I'm doing the little guys too. So there's one of the little guys. Gosh, why are they so cute? All right. Let's do another little guy. Yeah, this one I feel like is a match too. That's exactly what I thought. So this one is going to go with the painting. That one to me looks just like the painting. And then I'm going to do another little guy here. And this is our other one. Yeah, these little ones are adorable. All right, and then there's the last little guy. Really, really cute. A lot of met uh, cobalt metallic blue in that one for sure. They're just adorable. All right, so I found one that's got a twin, so I'm gonna put these guy over here, guys over here to dry. Okay, and so we need to figure out a name combination for this one. Space Jam 8. Yeah, you could do unicorn glitter on this one. This one's awesome. I don't know. You probably put unicorn glitter on anything, really, but this one, maybe so. Space Jam 643. 
Let me see, make sure I got all the names. Rainbow Bright. Oh, you should definitely try to sell some of them. I know that people really like these paintings. People really love abstract art. 80s Galaxy, that's a good one. Did I miss any of them? Miami Vice. Unicorn Galaxy. Cosmic Explosion. All right, so we got some good names with this. Oh, and then also, too, let me put down our guild. If you are a crafter, feel free to join up with our guild. All of the posh crafters, we are trying to get together and um, encourage each other's crafting and um, just, I don't know, do some collaborations and all kinds of stuff. The guild! The guild! So feel free to join us. We're trying to form like a little coalition here, a little team. So if you craft or paint or if you have any skills in that area, feel free. Or if you just want to come say hi, that's fine too. Coalition. It makes us sound important. Okay. I think I wrote down all the names. Um, let's see. Rainbow Bright, 80s Galaxy, Miami Vice, Unicorn Galaxy, and Cosmic Explosion. All right, I am loving this one. Let's do a close-up on it. You can see that these cells have really developed. Look how fun that is. We are powerful. We are tiny, but we are mighty. Have you guys ever seen Beverly Hills Chihuahua? I highly recommend People are probably like, she watches the dumbest crap ever. I watch other things too. Like I like to watch history. I watch a lot of other things, but I also watch Beverly Hills Chihuahua. So it's a good movie. I'm just saying. So you've got some cells in this guy and um, look at that beautiful color there in the corner. That's super fun. That's too funny, Isabel. I'm glad somebody else likes stuff like that. I definitely do. It makes me happy. And it helps me, like, I don't know, like, kind of get the heavy off, you know? Like, with the news and everything that's going on in the world, it's just, it's kind of nice to wind down with stuff like that. Yeah, Christmas, I don't know. Kind of like it, but then I'm kind of, uh... I don't know. It's the shipping mostly that gets to me this year. But that's cool. Christmas Hallmark. Those are good feels movies. I think those are awesome to watch, honestly. You know, they have like a Hallmark Christmas channel on Pluto TV, which is free. I don't know if you guys... Uh, I know some people in here watch like the same stuff I watch, like the Dark Shadows channel and the Dog the Bounty Hunter channel. And all that. But the Pluto TV has like Christmas Hallmark movies. It has a whole channel. And it plays them 24 hours a day. So I highly recommend PlutoTV.com. It's free. But yeah. Look at that. Just got to do a close up on it. And then we'll auction it off. Oh, we need to do a close up on the mini too. But yeah, that's how that guy turned out. The cells in this are great. And then there's the mini right there. There's that little cutie. All right, so this guy is a 12 by 12. And we do have some great suggestions. Because that's pretty much the only kind of suggestions that we have are great ones. Banana split on the moon. Okay. 
I like it. That's actually pretty perfect. All right, so we'll go ahead and start this guy off. Um, and so this is going to be the 12 by 12. So you've got a, a square shaped canvas and then it also comes with the cutie little mini too. So got to get that guy with it as well. <laughs> but these are some awesome colors. I'm definitely going to put a star by this color scheme because I feel like this is almost like, I don't know, like these almost are unicorn colors. These are definitely really, really pretty colors. So you get a star. Because we may need to do this color combo again, for sure. It just came out so pretty. Um, which is why I like to write the colors down so that we can repeat them. And get these really great color schemes. So, but yeah, this one ended up looking really, really cute. Congratulations, Wendy! Now you have to name your painting. Oh my gosh, look how cool the cup is uh, looking. That's Lisa Frank. That's a Lisa Frank cup. Okay, let me read the suggestions, but you also have your own really good names too. So um, let's see. Rainbow Bright, 80s Galaxy, Miami Vice, Unicorn Galaxy, Cosmic Explosion, and banana split on the moon. Or, of course, the name of your choice. Thank God he's outside, though. It's so much better when he's typing and he's not talking. I just want to put that out there. I know, that cup is great, Taj. It's so cool. It definitely looks like Lisa Frank vibes. Oh my God. Unicorns. Oh my God. Wendy's going to do it. I love it. Okay. So let's see. Unicorn, um, dreams. And then where do you want the unicorns? I love that you're using the unicorns. That is so cool. Yeah. You need to go in the trunk where he needs to go. We were going to put him in the trunk last time. And let's take a look at the unicorns. And they're like pearl iridescent. They're so cool. All over it. Oh my gosh. Yes. All right. Let me take this guy off so you guys can see it. All right. We want some dancing unicorns. This is perfect. And you know what? If you look at the glitter... Like the, it's kind of like a holographic shine. It has the same colors as the paintings. So back to the trunk. Back to the trunk with you. Oh my gosh, this is so great. This is so awesome. This is the best painting ever, I think. These unicorns are just, just like... These unicorns are fabulous, Wendy. Let's do a close-up. If you want more unicorns, let me know. Or if you want to add any glitter or glass of any different colors, just let me know. Because this one is a fun painting. Look at these guys. That's awesome. It works great in this painting. And do you want unicorns in the little painting too? But you guys can kind of see how the light's rolling over the unicorns, how they're like different colors. These guys are so cute. Yes, yes, Wendy. I have to agree. Okay, so we need some unicorns and cosmic glitter. Perfect. And do we want to do the same thing to the little guy too? Or do you want to do something different to him? 
These unicorns are epic. Awesome. All right, let's do the little guy too. I think you're 100% correct. And then the cosmic glitter. Which we love because, I don't know, it's a cool glitter. I'm trying to make sure that unicorns are evenly distributed throughout the canvas. And then our cosmic glitter, I think, would be a really great touch to it. And let me just make sure I shake it up. Because there are some bigger and smaller pieces on it. And then check it out. This glitter is awesome. It's got lavender. It's got blue. And it's got some little black, uh, black flecks. It's got tiny blue stars, tiny lavender. Like this. Wendy, you did this. Yay! Awesome, Teresa. I'm so glad you got it running for you. I think it'll help out a lot. I really do. And um, there are a lot of great features in it, like the offer to likers and all the all the different uh, features of the cross posting, the cross listing. You got it all in there. But if you run into any uh, issues, please just let me know. Look at those unicorns. They are dancing up and down the painting. Oh, I love the cosmic glitter. <laughs> the cosmic glitter is great, especially with the unicorn. And then when you look really close up, you can see like the tiny um, stars and different shapes in it too. That's awesome. I just love that. You totally, you totally did a good job on this one. This one is awesome, Wendy. Oh, let's look at the mini, too. And there's the little cutie. Isn't that awesome? That is so fun. I hope you love this one. This is fun to look at. We did that. All right, let me put the little mini over here. I just love these minis. And then this is awesome. <laughs> this looks so freaking cool. Look at the colors on this one. That's amazing. Wendy, you did that. That was an amazing choice. And you guys, you got to use the unicorns. That's gonna dry so freaking cool too. Oh my gosh, those freaking unicorns, though. That was like the perfect painting to use the unicorns in. 100%. That was really exciting. <laughs> the cow and twister. <laughs> oh my god. That is awesome, you guys. Those colors were awesome. That was a winner. And look at this paint canvas. This shit is wild. Oops. Didn't mean to cuss, but look at that. This is wild. This is going to be crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh, that totally made my night. We've been just waiting, just waiting for a reason to use that glitter.
Like, honestly, that was the perfect painting for that glitter. 100%. Okay, so this one is going to be uh, metallics. So, where are we with that? There, there, there. Like, hmm. And we can vote on these. We don't have to use all of them, but this is what was requested. So I did want us to take a look at these. Um, I think that's all the metallics I have right now. Oh, you know, we got the copper. I'm just wondering, do we have any other well, it looks like I got them all. And I'm out, out of a couple of the metallics for sure. <clears throat> Just because we've used... I need to go back to Hobby Lobby because that's where we got like the blues. I do have these two guys left. And so, no, I don't have any fuchsia in metallic. But I can make a color metallic for sure. Um, like I have this fuchsia color. I can mix it with a pearl, a uh, pearly type medium, and we can turn this into a metallic. Um, and the white, we can make the metallic too. We have to make those. Okay, so we'll make the metallic pearl and we'll make the metallic pink. And then which ones of these guys did you wanna use for the metallics? We've got copper, this is the darker copper. We've got the lighter copper. Okay, so we want to use all of them? Perfect. All right, so let me mix the pearl white and the fuchsia um, pearl metal slash metallic first. So here's our fuchsia, and this is kind of like a Barbie pink, and I'm going to be mixing it with our, where are we? Here we are. This is our metallic pearl. This is like a, I mean, it says it's uh, iridescent, but honestly, it comes off kind of like a metallic. And so it's going to give it that nice shine. Oh, yeah, that's really, really nice. Um, not really, Isabel. I mean, not really. I mean, they kind of, the colors tend to do whatever they want. I've tried layering them different ways. I mean, obviously the ones on the top are going to, sometimes they may cover a little bit, but generally it's pretty hard to predict, in my opinion. Because we've definitely tried to do them in order. I mean, and it, 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 I don't know. It's kind of a, it just depends. Like yes and no. Like sometimes they will, but also colors just tend to do what they want to do as well. And there's our pearl white. And then sometimes if, you know, you can put so many colors in there that, you know, one of the colors may not show up. You know? Yeah, it just depends, you know, like sometimes you, you know, sometimes you like we would put all these colors in here and maybe we won't see any of the blues, you know, um, sometimes they'll be under the other colors. It's just kind of weird how it works out. But there's other ways of pouring it too. You know, this is called a dirty pour. So basically this is just putting all the colors in one cup and pouring them over. Um, there is a way to control colors a little bit more depending on the method you're using. Um, like for example, I've got these cups and this one is divided into six sections. This one's four sections. Um, like for example, when you're pouring it, um, exactly Cheryl, like with the greens, like we really thought more of the greens were going to come out on that other one, but it turned out that the golds were mostly the dominant color. You know, so there, but there are ways to kind of control it, but, um, 
generally they're just like, we do what we want. Especially when you're doing this dirty pour method. We're just putting them all in together, really. A smorgasbord of color, if you will. There's our light copper. And that's part of why we like to try the different uh, things. And then there's our regular, our darker copper. And that's why we like to try things on here, too. Um, and just keep it, uh, mix it up and keep it interesting. And that way you guys can really see the difference. Because sometimes we'll do with cells or without cells. Sometimes we'll do it with um, the paint pour cup. Sometimes not. And really from watching it, you can start to tell um, what methods you really prefer and, and whatnot. Do it. We do a lot of experimentation on here. Um, yes, occasionally we do pour it like that, like side to side. It's called a ribbon pour where you kind of like pour it like a ribbon from side to side. And we have done that with a couple of them for sure. Here's our metallic purple. This is looking really, really pretty, guys. Look at all these beautiful metallics. Metallics are my favorite color. And look at the side of the cup. That's beautiful. Yeah, do you ever pour the paint and pour painting? <laughs> we do a lot of different things. We also, sometimes we pour it through the strainer, too. Strainer does a cool thing. I don't know if you guys are interested in doing this, doing like this with the strainer today. No, Lisa, Lisa just came inside. <laughs> Lisa, do not get him started with the ice cream. I have to go to the store, too. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> well, not yet. I don't have to go to the store. I can hang out for this one. Party this pour? Morning. Okay, let's do a party pour. Party pour is not really an official paint <laughs> method. That's something that we made up ourselves. And that's basically, I'll show you what a party pour is. It's basically where we have a party with the pour. All right, let's get our minis for this too. He's like, I've had it with those freaking minis. Can we just stop already? No, I'm just kidding. No, everybody loves <laughs> yeah. the minis. Because they're cool. I'll show you a party pour. Yep, she will. <laughs> I love a good party pour. Look at these little minis. I'm so glad that you love it, Isabel. It's fun. It is fun to do, and the people in here make it a lot more fun than it should be. Yeah, that's good to hear as well. I mean, the assistant does most of the work, but anyway. that's like any movie. You haven't done anything. You've been outside. I don't know why you came back in. It's freaking cold out there. Turn on a heater. I did. I didn't know. Trunk is cold. The trunk is cold. <laughs> the heater doesn't work in the trunk. Get back in the trunk. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we've got an 11 by 14 for this guy, and then we're also going to be doing one of the minis as well. Wendy. Do you need anything? What? Do you need anything from the store? Uh, not that I can think of right now. We got dinner, but... I can always go back later, though. We live right next to the store. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I hope the bundle shipping does roll out this week. They were supposed to do it in November. I didn't distract you from the party pour today. Party pour! Party pour! This is a party pour. <laughs> Basically shakes the cup over it again to make Basically, sure. Basically I just shake the cup all <laughs> over it. It's not really, like I said, this is not an official pour painting um, thing. We get some extra colors in random places. All right, I got to do the minis real fast. Dance while you shake. Shake Dance it, you shake it like a Polaroid picture. Uh, 
Um, yes. The gold breaks up because we put cells in it. Although I don't know how many cells we did in this one. And sometimes there's natural cells. Ooh, look at this guy. Isn't that a cutie? So there's the first mini. I can't with these minis. These minis are amazing. They're so cute, Teresa. They're so cute. Kind of shaking this guy to get the paint to move around on it. Notice how quiet it is now that somebody's gone to the store. All right. <laughs> yeah, these colors are great. Can't wait to see how the big one turns out. All right. Got to shake them to move this paint around. Sorry about that. And then there's the next guy. These are adorable. Oh my gosh. And the first guy, look at the cells on it. All right. And then we'll do our last one. The minis always look so cute. Seriously, they do. Then we're just kind of getting this guy together. It's going to be gorgeous. Just gorgeous. These are so cool, though, honestly. All right. So I've got our minis down here. And in a second, after we finish this painting, we can see which one matches. <clears throat> so let's take a close-up look of this guy. This looks amazing. Isn't that pretty? The cobalt metallic blue. So this is going to be the all-metallic painting. And this is gorgeous, I have to say. I love this. All right, why did we make so many gorgeous paintings tonight? How did this happen? It's because you guys picked amazing colors. You know what this reminds me of? <clears throat> this reminds me kind of, of like uh, the gods, like Zeus and like heaven of the gods or something like that, if that makes sense. Look at that color. Look at that cobalt metallic blue. This is gorgeous. All right. I love this. We have got to do a close up on this guy. And there's a lot of natural cells that are forming in this that make it really, really pretty. So let me rinse this paint off my hands and we'll take a closer look. That is absolutely stunning. This is amazing, guys. Oh, my gosh. Deep Ocean, that's a really good one. Oh, it does kind of look like that. We got to do a close-up on this one. And look at that. That's going to dry like a really pretty foil color right there. 
And these are all metallics. You can really see them as they're kind of shimmering their way down. All these gorgeous metallics. Oh my gosh, Bex, that would be amazing. Ursi, I will definitely give it a try. I did update my app today. I hope they get that bundle feature fixed. That would be really great. I think we would all appreciate that. There's that beautiful metallic purple. And then you've got really, really strong cobalt metallic blue. And then look at these gorgeous cells. This is stunning. This area is absolutely beautiful. That's amazing. And then it goes into that beautiful metallic purple. So this entire painting is done of metallics. And it's got a little bit of marbling going on right here. And that beautiful cobalt metallic blue is just very, very dominant. Oh, I hope so, Sandra. I hope so. Look at that. Look at that. That's gorgeous. This is winning. Okay, look at the top of it. You've got some really beautiful cobalt metallic blue and purple cells that are coming through this guy. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Gosh, I hope it works. All right, let me see which one is going to be the closest to it. I feel like the closest one to this is going to be this guy. So this is going to be the one that's auctioned off with this painting. And look at all these little cells and all the detail in this. That's beautiful. Okay, everybody, make sure that you update your app so that we can get the bundling. So let's definitely, definitely keep up with that and make sure that that works. It'll be interesting to see what happens. I updated my app today, but it looks like I may need to update it again. And it doesn't work on previous show orders. Okay. So only on the new, only on new orders. That's amazing. Look how shiny that is. That'll be nice. I know everybody's excited they're going to be rolling that out because the bundling gets a little out of hand sometimes. So that makes it really nice. All right, so I've got those two out of the way. Um, and then we're going to auction this guy off and then also the mini with this one. Yes, Bex. Yes, 100%. We have got to go. I would love to do that. That sounds like a lot, a lot of fun. Especially when you've got a good group of people. That definitely helps too. I think this is my favorite part of the painting. That's pretty. All right, I don't know what to name this guy. Hmm. It does look very like Google Earth ocean mappy. I don't know how to explain it. It's very, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. It looks kind of like, like a uh, Google Earth or like when you're flying in a plane, because this part kind of looks like clouds. And then this part looks like obviously the water. So I don't know. That's kind of the direction I'm feeling it goes. Yeah, Earth and Sky. That would be a good name for the painting. Earth and Sky. Shore from the Sky. That's a good one. Yeah, no, seriously, Tanisha Thrift, that's the same way I feel about it. It's better to uh, have Poshmark do the bundling. 
But I've had every, usually everybody is really good about their bundles. They always buy their bundles. I know that some people like to uh, make the bundles and then you have to buy the bundle and then they cancel the orders and stuff. I usually just cancel the orders and make a bundle. Most people have bought, uh, bought it right away. I've only had a couple people that have kind of like skipped out on it. But um, it'll be nice if Poshmark does it. But just hopefully, I don't know, it's sometimes better to make your own bundles too, though, because sometimes only you know what fits in a five-pound box. So hopefully there's a way to revise the bundles. Um, yes, Cheryl, I am treating myself to another glass of wine. I deserve this. <laughs> cheers, cheers. Ooh, the view above. That, that's cute. I'm telling you, this was a long Monday. I had to hunt down shipping boxes. It was just not, it was not the best Monday. It was a long Monday. I like the view from above too. I think that's a really good one. Thank you, Cheryl. Cheryl thinks I deserve a glass of wine too. Thank you. Desert Ocean. Ooh, that's a good one. I can definitely see see that oh what about oasis i'll suggest that oasis um yep it does look like the sistine chapel ceiling with the like the little fingers and everything it's definitely looking like a sky background well, well then why don't you suggest a name Lisa, <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> no, like I said, most people are awesome about it. And I think sometimes people just forget, you know, you've got a lot going on and, you know, it's not always top of mind to be checking Poshmark, you know. <laughs> Surf and turf, that's a good one. Yeah, exactly. What would you call it? Why don't you suggest something? I don't know, but I love these colors. I know that. I think Oasis is good. Yeah, it, when you start charging people for shipping each time, you know, it can get it can get a little expensive. Metallic Sands of the Isle. That's a really good one. God's view. Ooh. That's a good one. I love these names. You didn't even think of a name, so you can't talk in the chat anymore. Vincent. Oh, oh Bex. Oh, man. My heart hurts for you. You deserve those pancakes. That is not fair. We're going to complain to Uber. Dear Mr. Uber, we're going to write a letter. Coastal landscapes. That's a very good one. I am going to write a letter and complain about this. Yep, Mr. Uber and Ms. Posh. <laughs> Dear Mrs. Posh and Mr. Uber. Yeah, the metallic is really pretty. All the metallics really dry very well, though. Really, really pretty. So there's the mini. Ooh, after wine view. I like it. We are not happy. Signed, Karen. Exactly. Signed a bunch of Karens. And then look at these great cells that have really cut these purple metallic cells that have come through. Whoa. Metallica. Yes. That's a great suggestion. Metallica. Oh, watch out, though. They might sue us if we use their name. You remember what they did on uh, 
what was it, Napster or Metallica will get mad. Probably can't even name our painting after it. They'll get mad. Ursi. <laughs> Ursi knows what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh. End of days. That's a good one. <clears throat> Metallica is going to come after us if we name the painting after it. Okay. Let's do this guy. This is number six. And we're going to go ahead and auction that off. And don't forget it comes with a mini. So you get a little mini painting. And then you get an 11 by 14 painting with this guy. So it's long ways this way. And then this is the shorter part. Um, it's 11 by 14. We've got all of our metallics. Picked out some great colors. This one's just gorgeous. I think we did a great job on this one, honestly. Really, it was you guys that suggested the colors. I just kind of put them together, but I have to say this is definitely a winner, so we're definitely going to get a star by this one. For some reason, we just keep winning and having great ideas, but like I said, those are pretty much the only ideas that we have are great ones. That's pretty much the only ideas that come out of our minds. So we're exactly, we're winners. We only have good ideas and we only win. Like we win so much that we're almost all tired of winning. That's how much we're winning. Yay. Congratulations to Jay Blair Taylor. You are the winner. I know I get really loud. I have a loud voice. I try to talk really quietly on this because like if I was talking at my normal volume, I would bust out you guys' eardrums. And I don't want to do that. Because I want you guys to have your eardrums. Um, <laughs> oh, definitely. Definitely. We will definitely make another one of this guy. For sure. I think we like it. Okay, so let's see. We got to figure out our name and we got to figure out our accessories here. Okay, this is a very important part of this. So... You need to make some decisions on this painting. First of all, we have to name it. And I have some good suggestions for you, or you can just pick whatever name you'd like. But the suggestions are End of Days, Earth and Sky, Shore from the Sky, The View Above, Desert Ocean, Oasis, Surf and Turf, Metallic Sands of the Isle, God's View, Coastal Landscapes, or Metallica. Or, of course, the name of your choice. But we do like to make sure that we have lots of suggestions. Because if you're like me, you need the suggestions. Definitely, Isabella. We can definitely try that. We should definitely do that. Let me make a little note. Two canvases. Same paints. We'll do that on our next show. I think that would be really fun. And I think that'd be a nice learning experience for all of us, too. I like it. I like it a lot. Yay, I'm so glad that you like it, Jay Blair Taylor. You just have to name your painting or if you don't want any, if you don't want me to write a name on the back, that's fine too. I've had a couple people that give them as gifts that don't want a name on them. So it's totally up to you. But if you'd like to name your painting, you definitely can. A, a diptych. <laughs> Nobody has to name their painting. Oh, Wendy's puppy. Diptych. I like it. Is that a real thing or are we just making that up? Sometimes we make up our own words. Interesting. 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 Very interesting. And we also, so after you win the painting... You get to think of the name Father of Pearl, Lisa. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. He would name every painting Father of Pearl. Ridiculous. We should do some of the metallics, though. Like, those are really pretty. Like, black and white and, like, silver and gold. Like, they look really classy. That's where we got our dream kitchen idea. Our fancy kitchen that we all want. They are really pretty together. It's, like, a really classy. It's kind of neutral. Could kind of go in anybody's house. Could match with anything type of look. Let me write that down, Isabel. Because that's exactly what I was thinking. And like the mother of pearl paintings, those are pretty too. Like the white and the gold and the copper. So pretty. Well, let's see. Black, gold, silver, and white metallic. All right, so we're going to do the two paintings side by side, and we can always do it with these colors if you want, because honestly, these are really popular colors. People would like these. So let me put this, uh, I've got it written down on my post-it, so now it's written in stone, basically. I'm going to put it right here. There we go. <coughs> you found a spot for another post-it somewhere, huh? If I don't write it down, I don't remember it. So that's why we have it on a post-it. All right. So did we ever name our painting? We have got to find a name. And then also, if you guys want to um, make any suggestions as far as the glass and the different things. <laughs> Go away. Do not write little post-its on there. Oh, wow. This mini canvas looks awesome. So, I don't know. We usually name this guy, and then we figure out if we want to add any glass to it. We have these nice little glass pieces in different colors. We've got copper and gold um, foil flakes that you can add to the painting to give it a little bit of embellishment. And you know we've got the unicorn glitter. That's just kind of a thing. Never again. <laughs> we'll never use that again. I will use it again. I love it. And then there's our silver stars. Of course, Wendy has like the best taste though. So that's why she used the unicorn glitter. And then we also have our powdered glitter here too. And we've got this pretty much in every color. So you could accessorize. Never say never. You know? You want to add anything to this guy? Yeah, that I think that would look nice too, Teresa. It's totally up to you, Jay Blair. You could add um, whatever you want to this painting, or you can leave it as is. But the chat's always great with suggestions. Always ready to help you out. Always ready to help assist out. Well, he's kind of pushy. No, they're not. <laughs> they're not pushy. They just like. They know that people like choices. I see glitter explanation mark, explanation mark, explanation mark. <laughs> that is not pushy. That is a suggestion. Like when you suggest I go out to the garage? Yeah, I would suggest that right now again. So see, we've got glitter, we've got glass, we've got all kinds of suggestions here. And I do have two kinds of gold glass. I think they might be shy. I have the smaller pieces of gold. I agree. This is a very super positive and creative group. And then we've got our bigger gold glitter. They may have left the chat. So I guess we're just going to let it uh, be how it is. And it's also got a mini too. So, which is pretty nice. They might be busy doing something. Yeah, their phone may have rung. They may have a dog that jumped on their lap, a cat. Yep. Look how pretty this mini is. Isn't that fun? Oh, now you can really see it. Look at those cells. <laughs> That's fun. Um, yes, I can definitely add some to your mini magnet. Um, what do you want on your mini magnet? Let me put these guys up. And then if uh, she comes back, we can definitely add anything to it. Or you can message me. Blair could be a dude. 
I didn't see the picture. I don't know. <laughs> mostly, like, it's mostly women on Poshmark. But that's fine. Whoever... That's sexist. <sighs> Whoever it is is more than welcome to be in here. All right? <laughs> But look at this. Look at this beautiful cobalt metallic blue. Um, so they do take about 24 to 48 hours to dry. And then I'm going to spray. And then I spray them with a clear resin gloss spray. Um, and that's to put the gloss back into the painting. And it's also to protect your paint and extend the life of it. So probably about, it takes me probably about, I don't know. Anywhere from two to four days, <laughs> sometimes a day or two longer to get it in the mail for you guys. Did they, Taj? <laughs> yes, <laughs> they did. Oh, I'm just messing with her. I'd yeah, rather hang out fun. with you guys, I have to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might want it, but... Look, Lisa's like ice cream. Do you maybe you need to go to the store and get some? I just did. I had to be all quiet with the bag. Oh, there's a new swipe feature. Oh dang. Yep, little baby Thor. Okay, ice cream for everybody. Yes. All right. Well. Um, let me get your magnet, and then if she does want to add anything to the painting, she can contact me. Alright, let's get our beautiful magnet here. Or you could do some work and contact her. <laughs> Where are the little guys? Are they still over here? Where did I put them? She lost the minis. No, I didn't. <laughs> They're right here. <laughs> They're too small. Oh, wait. No, that isn't it. <laughs> I guess this one? I thought I did two. It's the one that goes with that one. See? Yeah. There. That's the mini for that one. It's the replay. Yeah, this is it. Okay, well, I'm sorry, you got it right. What? What was that? Nothing. What did you say? Did Nothing. you say I got it right? All right, so Isabel, where would you like your embellishment? Have a good night, Wendy. Thank you so much. Have a great night, Wendy. Up to you. Okay, well, let's do some glass. No unicorns. <laughs> I think we should add some glass. I think some glass would look really lovely. Okay. Not that color. I always like glass on these though. So it's going to be the same time tomorrow. We will be here. Same time tomorrow with Leah and Vince. All right. And then next we will do the drip pan painting, but I wanted to make sure to add this glass to this guy. I just think it looks cool. So you're going to have a nice variety for your, your magnets. Oh. All right. So let's do our last one. And this is going to be our drip pan. Alright, let me rinse my hand off real quick. Alright, now this is going to be an interesting drip pan painting.
Yes, exactly. Oh. Um, I'm trying to remember what day. Do you remember what, what day that was? What? The last, uh, when the numbers were high, la was it last Wednesday or? Bex is trying to remember. We had like, there was one show that we did that was like really busy last week. Was it Tuesday, Wednesday? I can go back and look at Bex. I can go back after this and look at the replay too. Cause I actually keep, um, I usually record these, um, and restream them on my YouTube channel. Cause it helps me remember sometimes, um, like who won what painting or sometimes people will buy, um, I will make minis of the, of the next drip pan painting. Cause I already started this one. So the dang it, that was a good idea. I'll definitely do that next time for sure. But I, um, I do archive all my stuff just because sometimes people will win an auction and, um, and then, you know, like say for example, they didn't put their right credit card information in. So they'll contact me and they'll say, Hey, I won this auction. And so it's good for me to be able to play it back and see how much it sold for. Otherwise, you don't really know, because um, if, if the card doesn't go through, um, there's no way to tell what they paid for it, you know, unless somebody remembers, but it's a lot easier to kind of look it back up and be able to go back and say, oh, okay, I sold that painting for, you know, like 15 bucks or whatever. So, especially for people like me that have bad memories, it's a lot easier and, um, and sometimes too, like I'm really bad about misnumbering things or, you know, like I have like a right sided brain. So sometimes I don't like, uh, I'm not great with my organization as far as like misnumbering or maybe I'll write the wrong date on a painting or something like that. And so it really helps me to be able to go back during the show and see who won the auction and how much it sold for and all of that. It helps me a lot. So just in case I make any mistakes, you know, I can kind of figure out what had happened. So I got some little stands on that guy. So it dries really well. But yeah, when you have a bad memory and you're just a right brain person, you don't always uh, remember that stuff. And so it helps me remember it. Exactly. So you can kind of look and see what you sold and it can, it can help you figure it out. And if anybody wants to know how to archive their shows or do anything like that, send me a message. I'm happy to help you guys out with anything that I can always. So let's take a closer look on this guy. This one is pretty cool. There are a lot of cells in this one, which is different. Well, that must be nice, Bex. More post-its. <laughs> right? I do. I really do. Yeah, I would love to be both brained, but unfortunately, I'm just like pretty much mostly right brained. But this one is really pretty, though. This is an interesting drip pan. You never know how they're going to come out, but I definitely like these better than when we pour it on. For sure. I think that I definitely lean more towards that way. But yeah, this is just a really nice little pretty piece of abstract art. Pretty cool, Bex. Oh, wait. Let me move this guy. I don't even know. The drip pan paintings we seem to, like, run out of names for. I would say this is kind of... I don't know. This one's definitely a lot more... I don't know whether it's the blues or the reds, but this one looks a little different than usual. Yeah, Mardi Gras in New Orleans, definitely. That's a good name for it. Let's call it that.
We'll call it New Orleans. That's a good name. Jazzy. It does look kind of jazzy. I don't know. The lady with the white hair in the hat. Where is it? I see kind of like a lady right here. Like that's her head and she's like, I don't know. I kind of see a lady there, but. Maybe we could do a jewelry show, a jewelry and chill. I need to pick all you guys' brains about jewelry and beating. Oh, Mardi Gras. That's a good name. Let me write that down. To the left side middle. I don't see her. Let's see. To the left side middle, like right here. Okay. Okay. I see it. I see it. Sometimes it takes me a minute, but I eventually see it. That's awesome. We should do a jewelry and chill. I may set up a jewelry and chill. That would be fun. I have a lot of questions too. That's for sure. I wish I would have done a mini of this guy, but I just didn't think of it in time. But we'll go ahead and auction this one off. This is our drip pan painting. Um, and this guy is a lot bigger than our normal. Well, not a lot, but it's twice the size of what we normally auction off. This is 18 by 24. So this will cover a lot of wall space. This is actually really good, uh, space in here. Well, then we'll set up a jewelry party. I think everybody would have fun with that. I definitely would. I need all the help I can get with jewelry. The woman is right here. If you can see her. She's got kind of like the hair. This is like the hair. It's hard to see sometimes. Sometimes everybody sees it at the same time. And then everybody sees different things. It's kind of weird how it happens like that. And so we'll start that guy off at seven. A mermaid in the purple. Oh, I kind of see like, I don't know. I see something right there. But this is like a nice big size painting. This will take up some good space on your wall. It's a piece of abstract art so that it can be a conversation piece when people come in your house. Be all sophisticated. Yeah. You can be like, like oh, man. this is that eco posh for you art piece. You can impress people like me. Right. People like you that don't know anything about art. Exactly. You'd be like, this is, <laughs> yes, check out my super fancy painting. But this has got some great colors in it, honestly. You got a lot of purples. You got your chartreuses. That's Taj. Yay, Taj. Taj, you get to name this painting. We did not come up with a lot of names for this. So, but we the ones that we did come up with were very good. New Orleans, Mardi Gras, and Jazzy. But you always come up with really good names on your own. So, it's not like you need the help because you're pretty creative. Yeah. Speaking of help, I had to help you out. Because you were pointing at the wrong woman. It's right there. That's her eyeball. That's her hair. It looks different in that camera. Oh, okay. If you look on that screen, you definitely see a face. Oh. <laughs> right there. See? There's He's like face. really proud of himself that he figured this out. <laughs> see, Taj knows I'm on it. <laughs> I came in just to show you that. Thank you. Now go back outside. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your show. No, you're fine. I wanted to make sure Isabel that saw was it actually Isabel really wanted to see the woman. I know. I get really he pointed to the wrong thing. Sorry, so I, I get really frustrated when I don't see it either. I it, it, I came in. I'm like, whoa, that looks different. It kind of makes me mad when I don't see it. But in there, you can definitely see the. Oh, okay. See, I thought it was the outline of her top half. <laughs> Isabel doesn't see it still. Oh God. Point it out again. That's her face, and then her hair. Where's her face? Her body. That brown spot drive all. 
Like I said, it looks different there. Like that's definitely a face above my finger. Okay. <laughs> I see her in the blue. Okay. <laughs> It's not the blue. <laughs> okay, so everybody sees a different woman in this painting. All right, we don't all see the same woman in the same place. Oh, that's your shh. <laughs> see, like the one that I saw, she's <clears throat> like, this is her hair, and then that's her like shoulders and her top half. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, where's all the dolphin beats? Abstract at? excellence. I like it. That's a great name. Further up. Okay, see Lisa Seizures. Yeah. Because mine's the best. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm a winner. We are winners. Uh, they're you. winners. You pour paint out on our canvas. <laughs> God. Abstract excellence. I love it. <clears throat> There's a bunch of women in this painting. Yep. <laughs> see? <laughs> Every time I look at one of these, I, I see something different. Yeah, well, I'm that's... I'm not going to lie. Yeah, like, that's true. The closer I look, I see something else and something else. That's part of the fun, though. That's why they're interesting. Ghosts, yeah. A lot of people see yeah. ghosts and, like, faces in these. What do you think, Taj? Does this need anything? Does it need any glass? Does it need any glitter? Does it need any lightning bolts? No. <laughs> no. No more lightning bolts. All the women. The women. <laughs> Around here we call them the help. Oh my god. Be quiet. You're going to make everybody it's a good mad. Movie. Come on. You're going to make everyone mad. Spirits. Yep. Spirits come out from the paintings. Good night, Sandy Mermaid. Have a good night, Sandy. Hope you get some good rest. It's we'll Monday. Yeah. I don't know. Like Taj can sometimes like sometimes she wants some clear glass in the blue section that starts at the top, edges and comes down right above the lady. So you have to see the lady. Well, you have to point it out <laughs> just to make sure I don't go past it too much. I, I think clear glass. The, the blue section in the middle on the top. I see it right here. Yep. Good, she can see blue, people. Oh my gosh. But there's a lot of blue in it. Yeah, I, I, I was just having a hard time pronouncing it there, Bex. <laughs> Mujeres. Mujeres. <laughs> see, I am from Texas, and I know how to say that. Thomas is yes right there. Good. I think the glass is a good idea. Because it's beautiful, beautiful. All right, I don't want to overdo it. She may not want that much in there. <laughs> Let's take a look, and then you tell me if we need to go through here again or not. That's the wine putting the glass on. <laughs> Just kidding. Stop talking. <laughs> okay. Okay, so there's a close-up. This one is really pretty. This one did turn out really awesome. You want to play on the lady. Isabel's right. And some on the right side, down below the same color pool. Okay, on the right side. Hold on. Let's make sure we see this. I want to make sure we get it in the right place. So, are you talking about this area? Awesome. You got it. Just want to make sure, because <laughs> you never know. That's why I'm in here to assist. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he does have a lot better eyes than I do. Sometimes. You, you have can an see. artsy eye for sure. You can see better. You can see a little better than I can. And yeah, I like the the effect the glass gives it. I do too. The glass looks awesome. There's a close-up on that glass, and I uh just kind of sprinkled it on there so it may need more. Tell me what you think. More, more. You know, you're either a less is more or you're a more is more. You know, I'm a more is more person. I know. Trust me, I know. You know, like sometimes it's like it's like less is more or you're more is more. You're like, you've got to be one or the other. So just a little more. Okay. As she goes for the third dumping. No, I'm just, but I'm putting just very <laughs> little each time. 
Aren't you glad I came and helped you with the woman? No. No. Yeah, the glass was a really good touch. The light colored pool at the lower left side. All right. Help me find this one. The light colored pool at the lower left side. Because I'm looking at it too on my computer so I can see it as you guys see it. And then I see it as I see it. Because honestly, it looks different in person. And we still going with the blue pools or the. No, it's the. the light one. small it's um the light colored are you talking okay, about I this guy so. oh oh perfect see i saw it we're just tired i don't know we're just tired of this winning it just keeps so. happening okay let's take a close-up look at this guy do we have enough glass and then also do we need anything else like any glitter. Stop trying to hint at unicorns. Maybe some foil pieces. We have that beautiful foil. We have everything. Yeah, everybody except for me, Isabel. Thanks, Isabel. I try to make sure I get exactly what people want because you guys are buying a very personalized work of art. So it needs to be for your taste. It needs to be what you guys want to look at. Indeed. A little glitter in the same area. Oh, I love where this is going. What glitter do we want to use? Do you want a certain color or do you want like a fun glitter or do you want a certain color? I am. It's All I get is here's your crackers. <laughs> here's your dinner. Oh my gosh, that reminds me of Aladdin. You know when he's like stuffing the crackers <laughs> in that parrot's mouth? Do you want a cracker? <laughs> he's like stuffing it in his mouth. Oh, what's that? Parrot's name. Iago. Iago, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that cartoon. The Cosmic, Cosmic would be really pretty, Taj. I always like it. Oh, your husband? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we're sorry to steal you away. We don't we're not trying to steal you away from your man, but Yep, I miss that too. <laughs> See, that's how self-centered I am. I always think it's about me. Where do you want it, Taj? Do you want it on the same areas? Or do you want it um, in a different area? A little glitter in the same areas. Oh, yeah. I just like to double check and make sure. I want to make sure that everyone gets their perfect painting. I know. You do very good. I'm trying to pay attention. You do a very good job. Because I really care about them wanting this being like personal for you guys. And I really want you to love it. I want you to look at it and I want you to think, you know, like I made this. That assistant Vincent is awesome. No, that is not what they're thinking. <laughs> they're thinking, you know what? I did this. It is cool. That, yeah. Everybody has a piece in it. And, yeah. Yeah. It's a group basically effort. a collab of all the painting. People it's a group effort. Or you guys and then it's also that. individualized. Yep. But what I like is that people are always happy to suggest something because I'm like really indecisive and I don't always know what I want. But then when somebody suggests a good suggestion, I'm like, boom, bam, that's it. I love that cosmic glitter. Yep, exactly, Isabel. <laughs> Me too. Taj loves it. Yay. That's awesome. Yay, I love it too. And we've got our name for it. Abstract Excellence. So I'm going to set this guy out to dry. And um, we will be back tomorrow at the exact same time. Yep. And yeah, I really appreciate you guys. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys make my day every single time I come on here. And I really appreciate you. I'll check it out, Miss Taj, and I'll see what we can fit in that one bundle. Because, I don't know. Let me go take a look at my notes, and I'll get with you in the messages. Because I try to fit as much as I can in the bundles, too. Because I want you guys to save on shipping. So, okay, that's really so. sweet of you, and I'll definitely check it out and get with you. 
Well, I love you guys being on here. You guys are awesome. And I appreciate you so much. And I'll be talking to you guys in messages and stuff. Yep. You guys have a great night. Have a good night.